And at that, I think we are good to go. You may notice, hold on. There. Uh, oh wait, I'm that, that's so, oh, oh, that's why. That's why that's happening. Oh, that's weird. Oh, hold on, we need to fix, oh. Oh, that's weird. Oh, that's weird, I don't like that. I, oh, that's, um, that's uncomfortable. All right, uh, let's just grab that. How about now? Alright, that's better. That's what we normally play with. Okay. Uh, yeah, sorry about that. I had to troubleshoot a shit ton because, simply put, my camera died. I put a picture of it in the Discord, what's happening. Um, it is full-on glitching. Like, uh, do I even have... There's an effect in, uh, Vineon that, like... Hang on. I know, I know you're gonna see some stuff here. You're just like, oh, what's your shit? Is it this? Basically this. This right here is basically what was happening. So, I mean, there's also this, but like, or, hold on. This too. So if we could apply, goodbye, digital. This right here is basically what was happening to me in the camera feed. So I'm just sitting there just going, oh, fuck, what am I going to do? This is awful. And uh, I had to bust out the camera we were using for the, uh, I had to bust out the camera you, we were using for the hands to, hold on, let's actually do an audio check. There, yeah. I had to bust out my hand camera for sake of, uh, hold on, uh, right, right, left, right, right, left. Yeah, I had to bust out my hand camera for the sake of making sure this is still working. So, I'm gonna have to do some troubleshooting on my own. I think this modeling camera has gotten much cheaper since last, so I should be able to nail it on some kind of, there you go, some kind of winter sale, it'll be fine. But, 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 let us properly begin. Hello, my name is Max, and so is Archo. Welcome to Metroid Dread. Now, as a quick reminder, okay, so, Samus Returns. As a quick reminder to everyone, Samus Returns came out in 2017. That was the last game we played. It's a lot of fun. It's probably my 2D, it's my favorite 2D side scroller. Metroid Dread came out in 2021, so a four-year gap. And a lot of people were talking about like, hold on, let me just get the Metroid Prime done. A lot of people were talking about like, oh, you know, is Metroid Prime 4 finally gonna come out? Is this gonna come out? What's going on? All sorts of like, you're just like, oh, what's going on? All right. You know, that, um, they're like hypotheses on different games, right? Dread was referenced a few times. I forget exactly where. I think it was either in Fusion or one of the Primes. But when this game was announced, the world was, like, just beside itself. Um, there, it got pulled up. So, yeah, the Metroid Prime 3 was in 2007. Trilogy was 9. Other M was 10. So, that's why... When Federation Force came out six years later, everyone was so pissed because, yo, know, like, we've been waiting so long for the, and this is what we get. Then Samus Returns came out, which everyone was like, oh, this is actually really good, you know, started to reinvigorate the series. But then it was four years until our dear Dread. I am very excited for this game. This game is honestly probably one of the reasons I started the Metroid franchise series is because this game looks so cool, so interesting. Really wish they'd let me do this on hard mode. Kind of disappointed. Not gonna lie. I, I think Dread, I think Dread mode is, uh, there's like this one hit kill mode. I think that's what Dread is, but, um, I don't like it when games don't let you do the hard mode first. You know what I mean? Like, it, it was the issue I had with, uh, Fatal Frame. But, uh, hot damn, that armor looking good but yeah this game looks very exciting i try i try my best to like not get too much spoilers i unfortunately know a few so like um i know a bird is involved kind of a thing i know there's robots and stuff i've seen a few cutscenes, but i am very 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 excited so let us properly begin a ver a verlian flown met an organism that drain energy from its prey through physical contact. Metroid was originally created by the Chozo, named after the word for ultimate warrior. Their value as a bioweapon sparked several crises, and as a result, all traces of them have been eliminated. They are now extinct. Oh fuck. 
Oh, fuck. Okay. A gelatinous parasitic organism indigenous to the planet SR388. It could... I'm going to turn it down a little bit. It could absorb the DNA of its host, living or dead, and then replicate its form. When infecting a living host, it could even access the host's memories, which is something they didn't really go into that much. I think they kind of did, though. There's like a few scientists that turned it into that were actually ex parasites. Well, I guess uh, SAX is probably the. You know, SAX is probably the most primary example. Ex parasites were driven not by emotion, but by an instinctive need to replicate and spread to increasingly stronger hosts. Their inability to be controlled marked them as even more dangerous than their sole predator, the Metroids. Like the Metroids, they are believed extinct. Not that I bring it up for any particular reason. Uh, I, yeah, it's probably fine. I mean, oh, yeah, that's right. It's fused. Yep. Yeah. We just shot one because it was an enemy and it started to eat our brains. With, net, with no Metroid surviving at SR388, it became infested with the X. Horrifying parasites capable of imitating any living being. Unaware of this, I set foot on the... Oh, I'm... Uh, got infected and almost died. Here's a bullet. Wait, hold on. It's oh my goodness. You see, it was the NES version. Did you see that? Oh, my ship changed again. And then yeah, that's the that's the armor for fusion. The one thing that saved me was a vaccine created from Metroid DNA, which also left me uniquely able to oppose the X. This ability was tested immediately when I went to a biological space laboratory's BSL research station to investigate a distress signal. That butt. Yeah, yeah! Gall, I love seeing modern artwork of SAX. Like, it's so freaking scary. I wish I could have looked at that picture for longer, because that looks so good. This is like, stop, bitch! There, I battled many powerful X forms, including the SAX, which was the X mimicking me in my power suit at full strength. I eventually eliminated the X menace on SR388 by setting the BSL research station on a collision course with the planet. Took him out. System shock style. After that, the X and the Metroids were just memories, or so we thought. Just when it all seemed over, the Galactic Federation received a mysterious video transmission. Ah, fuck, someone's put it on Facebook. It showed an X, alive and in the wild. Through analysis proved the video was real. Oh, oh, thorough analysis proved the video was real, although the sender was unknown. The transmission was traced to a particular planet. Get your ass over there, girl! Like, am I gonna get paid for it this time? Uh, we'll talk about it afterwards. I'll take it. It was called ZDR. How do you name that? If the X had somehow escaped extinction out there, that would pose a threat to the entire galaxy. The Galactic Federation dispatched research team seven EMMI to investigate. You didn't send me? Well, I guess they're non-living, so like, oh, it's got a face dagger. An EMMI is a large research robot designed to capture field samples and extract their DNA. Their incredible mobility and protective plating made of the strongest stuff in the universe. Have they used it on these? Practically guaranteed the mission's success. And they used them on this robot. I just realized I don't have hand stuff anymore. But not long after the arrival at ZDR, all communication was lost. Damn, my armor looks good. I'm just saying, this armor looks sexy. Guess you gotta send in the person who you actually have to pay. What is happening on ZDR? If the planet really infests with X, as the only one immune to the parasites, it's up to me to go. Oh, I'm unsanctioned. They don't. Oh, yeah, they probably don't want to hire me ever since. Um, was it Other M or Zero Mission? It might have also been fusion, actually. There's a few times where he basically told, like, the, the Galactic Federation to fuck off. It was like, I will fuck you up. Like, I, I, I don't know if you know this. I'm the most dangerous motherfucker in the galaxy. I don't think we should, you know, I don't think we should be dealing with this shit. It's like, hear me out. I will murder you. Nope, sorry. Thank you. Damn, seriously, this armor. It's like fusions that it's like kind of fleshy. There's two voices in my computer. Who am I talking to? 
does not seem appropriate. God, I'm pretty. <gasps> it's Adam! It is Adam! Yeah, I... Oh, I didn't real. Did that happen in Fusion? Did I actually bring Adam with me? Oh, that makes me so happy. I love that I have two AIs and one of them's like totally obedient to the other one's like kind of sassy. He's like, I don't know if this is a good idea. I think we should rethink this. What the fuck happened? Well, I was yellow earlier. Why am I blue now? How did I get out of my ship? Why did I activate the hyperspace drive? Ow. Why did I activate the hyperspace drive directly towards the planet when I was... What happened? Why am I changing colors? Any objections, lady? No. Thumbs down. Yeah, why am I yellow here and then blue there? What the fuck? Unless it's just me at like full power. Oh. Hi. Listen, I'm I'm from I'm from around. I hold it, I was told there's an ex parasite problem and I got a sassy ass walk. Oh shit. Holy shit. I'm so badass. Bitch. Oh, it's worth a shot. Uh, try missiles. Try an ice beam. Try, try fucking. Oh fuck. You miss, bitch. Oh god, you did. Yeah, I got that parry. That, that worked. Oh, that definite. Hi. Uh, super missile. Super. Oh, 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 oh god. Oh god. You're gonna blow off your own arm. I'm just saying. Oh my goodness, she actually What? The other reason I'm really excited for this game is because it's supposedly a lot more action oriented. Oh yeah, my shoulder pads are smaller. So yeah, I definitely something blacked out and I lost my shit. Well, good thing I made you match your- unless I didn't actually make you match. <gasps> oh. Sorry, don't mind me. Okay, so... Okay, let's see. Oh! Oh, all oh, that animation! <gasps> yeah! <gasps> and I got the parry! And I- hold on. Okay, so hold on. Hold on, let's just test something. Okay, good. I got- I don't think I have a- <gasps> I have a wall jump. Okay, so I got a wall jump. I got a grab. I got a parry. I got uh, I got this business. Oh, this game right from the get-go feels so good. Like seriously, I mean that. Um, I'm gonna do something that's gonna risk the entire stream real quick though. I apologize. I'm just gonna shut this program down real quick. It's gonna get silent, but you should. Actually, well, no. I should still be able to see the game. You guys can. Hold on. Hold on. Alright. Yeah, recording, like, ah, as always, I can never go a stream without there being 1,500 technical issues, am I right, folks? But, there we go. Oh, I can place markers! What? Oh, that's so good. Oh, whoa, whoa. Shoot the fuck out of you. Okay. <laughs> oh, wait, while Tilty. <gasps> oh, I actually do have a built in slide now. Uh. Uh. Amazing. Okay. 
Oh, this game feels so good already. And look at this shit. It's like automatically teaching me. Right there. And let's just talk about that whole sequence right there. Moving into a slide. Having to shoot things. That way you can ledge grab on them. No tutorial explained that shit. I love, like... They show me how to slide once. Yeah, they show me how to slide right here. They're like, okay, yeah. This is how you do it. They've displayed that there are different doors that we can't open. I feel like we talked. Yeah, I think it looks kind of interesting. Oh, wait, oh no, no, I was thinking of a different one. Yeah, I think I've seen the ad for that. We have a spot here that has infinite resources in case you're like, oh, we need to get more stuff. That slide feels good, and now you're like, oh no, how am I supposed to do it? Well, what if I shoot it? Hold on. And then you do this. But how do I shoot that one? How do I shoot the enemy? Ah, oh, so many things. So many things taught so quickly. Oh, look at that little animation. I, I'm gonna tell you right now, I can pretty much, I pretty much guarantee this will quickly become my favorite Metroid game. All right, hidden, if you run to a dead end, try shooting at your surroundings. Strike at some blocks of missiles may reveal how to destroy them. I remember when this game came out, a lot of people were like, uh, there's like that famous story. Yeah, how's it going, Joe? There's like that famous story of like the journalist who couldn't figure out the first puzzle, right? Like, I love how this game teaches you and it doesn't hold your hand. It just, it, it just gives you a concept. It gives you a concept and then just rolls with it. So you've oh. accessed the network station. Well done, Samus. I have reviewed- Adam, I don't like how you're pulsating. It makes me uncomfortable. You got fucked up, girl. You lost consciousness. My readings indicate dramatic physical changes in you. Also, I gotta say, this, the blue does look much better than the yellow, Samus. I'm just saying. But really, you got knocked the fuck out. Whatever caused these changes seems to have stripped you of most abilities. What you asshole? Might call it physical amnesia. You might call it physical amnesia. Wait, um, I'm a little quiet. Um, is the game too loud or... Can you speak up a little bit more? Let me check my uh, microphone. I could move it a little closer. Thank you for telling me about that, though. I really appreciate it. Um, let's go to my microphone. It is at it's at it's at the same volume it normally is. Yeah, I'll move the microphone a little closer. How's that? Oh, there you go. Yeah, then if you could tell me if the game's too loud compared to me or not, that might be part of it too. That brings me to your assailant. I am checking the Federation database against your video log. I found them on TikTok. The attacker's identity is not yet clear. This is extra freaky because, as a quick reminder to everyone, the Chozo are fucking dead. I can hear the game alright. I don't hear. I don't need to hear bzz, bzz, bzz of the laser cannon gun going. Well, you know, we want to still hear the game if like the music's going nuts. And... I have determined that you are somewhere within the depths of CPR. Your top priority should be to return to your ship on the surface. This situation is precarious. Trust your instincts as you navigate upward. This mm. planet appears to consist of multiple areas, shuttles, elevators, and other modes of transport connect them. Keep an eye out for ways to reach the surface. Thanks. The ship's location is marked on your global map. I love Check the idea of the goal is just to escape. You may encounter pockets of low temperature. Your oh. metroid DNA renders you vulnerable to <gasps> such environments. Spending time in cold areas will be harmful to you. That's right, they're still accounting for that shit. This is directly after fusion. There are many such cold areas scattered underground. Back. Do not enter them with your basic power suit. You can't tell me what to do, Dad! One final thing. Underground interference is preventing radio transmissions. Check in with me at any network stations you find. Okay, seriously, this like this this like pixel thing, it's really cool visually, but it's really aggressive and I God I'm badass. Hot damn I look good in this armor. You sexy son of a bitch. Press to open the map. Press to... Oh, look at that. Interesting. Amiibo. What did the Amiibo get me? Grab myself an Amiibo. Uh... There it is. Okay. 
So you're just saying you don't need to hear it. You gotta hear it. What are you talking about? Yeah. 360 no scope. Yeah, and with that. Oh, hold on. Uh, sorry, what button is it again? Yeah. Oh, shit. You get to teach you how to parry? <gasps> it is just like Samus Returns. Use a melee count to right mode to parry certain attacks and automatically take in with the attacker. Press to use your melee counter now. Bitch. Gal. Okay, I remember I remember the first time. Like, what much we call it? Um Other M, I'm I wasn't as sure about the parry, you know. It, it didn't quite feel as good. Samus returns, it felt very good. Okay, there's no there's no A on, it's just you simply get more resources if you kill them this way. Can I shoot while sliding? Yes I can! Ow. I was waiting for the dick bag. All right. It's pretty generous, too. Press XL run to execute a powerful dash, man. I like other men. The dash will damage the enemy. Ooh. Ho, ho, ho. Max, that was, that was a really weird Saudi. Ooh. I'm excited, okay? Everyone, shush. I'm having a lot of fun with this. This game... God, like I, you know, I always talk about like games that like the moment you play them just feel good. This is one of them. Hot damn! What? Wait, if an area of the map is big, I guess there's a hidden item there. Oh, is that it? Oh wait, oh, but I can't crawl through. Oh no, I can't crawl through. Wee! Oh no. I suddenly feel fear. <laughs> God, I can't get over how good this blue armor looks. Hey buddy, listen, listen, hey, I was told to come and you clearly weren't the strongest material in the galaxy, I can tell you that. Hey buddy, listen, I came here to help collect ya. It's gonna be okay, we're gonna get you to the workshop. Shit, 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 shit. So, oh! I was trying to slide and I hit L1 instead of L2. Maybe we can attack the counter by pressing X to exact one with a flash. However, the timing is extremely difficult to gauge, making this a desperate maneuver. Beautiful. Try it, try it. Oh! Yeah! Better. Bye bye! Oh god, it's still coming. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh no, oh no. Okay, 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 okay. Haha, eat shit. You can't get up here. Uh, he's trying to figure out his arm. It's okay. It's okay. He's, try he's trying to figure out his arm. Let's not, uh, give him an opportunity to learn. Whoa. They're beautiful. Go away, you little bastard. I'm gonna touch it. I'm gonna touch the brake. I got a gun. Ha! Huh. Nice. Uh, scusi. Press Y while still holding R. Aim at the core. Hold on. Ah, damn. So how much of this bad boy do I get? This is nice. Okay. Uh, right. Hold to use aim mode, tilt to aim. Targets nearby sense so I'm actually face that direction. Oh. Oh, so this is them teaching me how Oh shit. Uh, eh, eh. Hold on. Bitch! 
hardest, re hardest material in the galaxy. Look at my go-go -go boots. Look at my armor. Look how good it looks. You ain't got shit on me. Disintegrated in pixels, bitch. Oh. Lame. Lame. I wanted to get something cool. Give me another juice. Give me another. Give me another sniff. Give me another. Just, just one more hit. One more hit, Doc. It's all I need. Oh. Had a little trouble there, but it's all good. That's a really cool and freaky sequence. I like that. The fuck is this? Oh, gal! I guess I better stand in it. That's the safest thing to do. Yeah, sure. I'll say my prayer. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna drink a drink of coffee. Nice and smooth. Not the coffee, but the safe. Alright, um. Oh, shit. I must see the charge shot. Ah, damn it, I keep hitting L1 instead of uh. Ooh. Ah! Oh shit, but because I did that, that I can't slide because I can't move fast enough. Oh, and I love the little cutscenes. Adam? Oh, this is the boss room. Oh, that's the fog. I just went through a fog wall. I just went through a fog wall. Um, central unit. Okay. I just went through a fog wall. Oh, look how the map fills out too on the top left. Like that's that's really nice. Why is there a fog wall here? Oh, ass. I love the design of that thing. It's so good. It's so freaky. Oh, this is a problem. Oh, shit, <laughs> it's like, yep, yeah, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out. Like, I love how contortionist it is. Contortionist it is. It's, there's so much that's so good about it. Oh, wait. Is it? Is, it, is this beer? Is it cold in here? Oh, and he's trying to find me. Oh, my good. Okay. Yeah, it's like SAX, but on steroids. And that bitch is hunting. You can even see where he is. Okay. I don't know if what I just did actually helped or not. Oh, God, it did not. Oh, God, it did not. Oh, God, it did not. All right, we're going through this backwards a little bit. Oh, no. Oh, we're going to juke him. Oh. Whoa. Uh. Oh, shit. That was in my neck. I was a little, oh god, that, yeah, that parry window is difficult. Oh. Terminated. Yeah. That was. I want to watch this again. Like, look at how it moves. Look at how, like, it's so, it's such a contortionist that's designed to move in any angle. It has no limitations of joints. Ah, oh, it's, well, okay, I mean, in some spots, but like, in a lot of those joints, there's no limitation of movement. It's so good. I love its design. Oh. Oh. Go, 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 go. Nope, I thought I could make that. I thought I could like hug it just a little bit. Oh, this might be the wrong way. Shit! Shit, 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 shit. Okay, I'm not, I'm not. <gasps> Motherfucker. I love that it's actively hounding me! Max, what are you doing? Um, oh no! 
Okay, okay, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Okay, go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Oh, shit. I was gonna say, like, take it through, take it through, take it through. No, okay, come on. Uh, flat, flat, flat. Alright. Whoa. Oh, that was intimidating. God, that's like. Okay, so the SAX moment. <laughs> the SAX moments were really fun, and like I really enjoyed them, but they were also very much scripted. Now, granted, you know, it, it was the. You know, it was it was the it was the Game Boy Advance or whatever, right? Which for its time it was phenomenal. You know, for the time it was phenomenal. But let's just take a step back and you know be honest with ourselves here. It was also the Game Boy Advance. Hey, I love that I hold my hand against things. It's so cool. Oh, how much do you want to bet I get some kind of invisibility? How much do you want to bet I get some kind of invisibility? Is it, was there a game that had that before? Like an invisibility effect or whatever? Uploading data. Both so enemy you encountered oh. were clearly trying to capture you. Capture me? Did you shove a knife in my so throat? It's reasonable to assume all enemy will be possible. That's fair. Enemy send out a call to detect vibrations in the air within a certain range. Essentially, they can hear you. I mean, that's more like a location, so it's, I mean... Upon detecting vibrations, an enemy enters surveillance mode to track their source. Stay out of its line of sight when this happens. Otherwise, mm. the danger to you increases dramatically. Uh... Hook up with him? I had no hussy. Ignore him. Like, whatever. <laughs> Why'd he bet a million dollars on my pathetic play? An enemy that has seen you will begin pursuit. Nope. Part of the pursuit protocol is to seal the enemy's own <gasps> exits. Oh. You will be trapped inside. To survive, you must leave its range of pursuit, evade the enemy, and it will disengage. This will also unseal the exits. Why does it have access to the exits? The enemy never leaves its assigned zone. Their control system must permit them to operate only within that range. Well, t I'm just gonna ignore it. Yeah. I'm, I'm bad about the game too. I'm not happy. Also, 99% shit. There may be a very small opportunity to escape, but exploiting this window will be virtually impossible. Oh, I'm still gonna practice that parry window. The enemy are immune to your current weapons. You lack the unique energy used to defeat the first enemy. Your only option now is to evade capture and find an exit. Awesome. Your highest priority in an enemy zone should be simply to survive. Awesome. Thanks, Dad. Really appreciate it, Father. Yeah, you know, having a lot of fucking faith in me. Big bag. Alright, um. Still can't crawl. Hang on. There you go. Oh, come on! Fucking uh, dick bag. Alright. Um, I can't get through that either. Hmm. Sure, if I don't need missiles for whatever I need to escape with. Nah, this game's better than that. This game's not just gonna, like, lock me in place. Oh wait, I'm sitting there like, oh god, there's no hope, how will I ever escape? I love the lighting too, it's so good. Everything about this shit is just like, mwah. It's, it's just plain delightful. Oh, it's angled so I can't, I can't fuck when it's angled. Also, it's all foggy, but it's not cold. 
attention to detail. You can hear him. You can hear him. So that's the reset. Hmm. Why am I playing in the girls' league? What is this mixed gender? Like, that isn't. Uh, I, I'm gonna see with soccer. Report! Fuck, I ain't risking my career. Oh, so I am a girl. I am report. No, fuck. Wait, hold on, hold on. What's my relationship with this friend? Am I? Are they like best friends with me? What the fuck? <laughs> fuck. I ain't risking my career. I ain't risking my scholarship. Fuck that. Where the fuck am I supposed to go? Yeah, but that doesn't mean I know them. Oh, this map is so delicious. Oh. <laughs> no, fuck you. You ain't see that shit on me. Fuck. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, contortionist dickbag. You can't get through shit, can ya? Fine, as long as I don't move, can you still hear me? What game are you playing, by the way? Oop. Uh, yeah, report him. I, I'm not, I'm not going to risk it. Okay. Ah! I hit the button, you liar. Oh, God. You should be playing Brotato or Vampire Survivor. What the fuck? Play Brotato or Vampire Survivor. <gasps> or, or you could play a game that I don't understand, but maybe you will. I did get a minor victory in it uh, recently. And I don't know if that means I'm a winner or not. Fuck, fuck, fuck. <laughs> Goodbye, bitch. It's called Cultist Simulator. Basically, it's a game that works off of a series of cooldowns, and, uh... It works off of a series of, like, cooldowns, and, uh, that, that was a one-way pass. Of, uh, different cards, abilities, cooldowns. It, it's more of a game that, like... I think the main way it really plays is by not telling you shit. And then once you learn shit, you learn the game better. It's designed to be that kind of a... <laughs> Ah, sorry. It's designed to be that kind of like an experience that, um, because you don't know it, you have to like chew, make different decisions and figure it out. Phew! These make me lose my train of thought. Yeah, you can give that a roll, see if you like it. You may have to, I mean, obviously you may have to buy these games, but like, I feel like you might enjoy them. Ah, my nose. Ah, I'm sorry. Okay. No. Bitch. No, that. Oh, my goodness. So many things that I'm like, if I could just roll. My timing is ass. Oh. Yeah. Oh. No. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah. 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 Fuck. <laughs> What the fuck? This is bullshit. This, this is bullshit is what it is. Uh, wall jump? Nope. Okay. This is bullshit. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm gonna, I arbitrarily decide 
Okay, so in this scenario, I'm a volleyball player. I'm that super athletic build. Like, I got a lot of A and not very much T, but I'm like ripped as fuck. That, that is tier 2 for what I decide. I love this water mechanic. Hmm, the team you just played with two years is now offering you a... Oh, wait. Oh, it does do the Samus Returns. This game really is the Samus Returns again, and I love it. Because I love that game. Uh, Play 2D is now offering you a three-year, $21 million contract. Their strength is a little less than half. What do you mean their strength? What does that mean? Doesn't matter if I win or lose. Like, if I perform well, other places will uh, still hire me because they'll see I perform well. And I get to make $21 million, although it is three years. I'd, I'd scratch that. I'd do it. Yeah, fuck it. Can't get my arm out of the thing. Ooh. Uh, that right now. Oh my gosh, I love everything about this game. And I haven't even played it for an hour. Bitch. Ha ha. Alright, um, let's not do that because I get the impression. Oh, there's so many fucking bugs here. Look at all these shits. They're everywhere. Oh. Bitch. <laughs> that was patient, dude. Was like, I'll sit, I'll, I'll sit here and I'll wait. Well, that's nice. Ow. No! Ave Maria. Oh. Um. Will I be able to... I was just here. I guess that way then. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, okay. Oh fuck. Oh, ah, uh, ah, uh, fuck. What the fuck is that thing? Wow, come on. I think the purpose of that robot is just to shove you around and force you to move. I think that's it. I think that's the only purpose of that robot. Oh my goodness, fucking leave me alone. No, 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 Shit ass. <laughs> Every time I see this thing, it scares me. Ow. Oh yeah, all it is, it's, it's just hurting me. Oh, that's bullshit. Go. What? Oh, I need a three shot. I don't know where my goal is. Aha! What? What does that provide? <gasps> wait, 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 wait. Oh, I was wrong. Oh, bitch. Okay, hold on. Okay, what is... What is... What is... What does this give me? <gasps> if I raise it up... <laughs> oh, no. Ha! Bye! Oh, come on, that is fun! Oh, I love that. Oh, sh oh shit. Oh shit, I no longer love that. Oh no, oh no, bye bye! <laughs> Gotta take myself a nice little bath and. Oh my goodness, those little invisible robot bastards. Oh, I know, I've never done this job in that game. I just do the stupid crap and make the person I'm playing a big hoe and does, and does the S word. Doing the sex? So you make yourself a hoe? Is that what you do? You just gonna become a whore? You just gonna become a whore? Now here's the question: Are you the okay? Okay, okay. There's 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 a there's a scale of line here. Okay, are you a bitch that you're trying to ruin other people's lives? Are you a whore that you're just letting people use you? Or are you like systematically climbing the ranks of power? 
are you uh, like how uh, i mean uh, okay i'm not using the terminology right but like come on like uh, how how you are you just having sex because you can because we got you gotta think bigger than that darling cross country and volleyball i would not think have that much overlap but like all right fair enough holy shit a 30 year career in sex work hot damn oh I like that they like throw themselves at angles as opposed to like. Oh, I'm already full. Okay. Oh, 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 God, there's just so, there's so many of them. 30 years of sex work. Hot damn, you're Marilyn Monroe up in this bit. Uh, did she do something? Shit. Uh. I learned something without the game needing to tell me. I love that its design encourages that shit. Do, do, do. <gasps> Daddy! Yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. I say, why does the sun remind me of Doom? Uh, focus beam energy to release is probably because they're showing me actually killing something. <gasps> I can kill those things too. Good. Uh, wait, charge shot damage. Wait, hold on. Charge shots damage enemies immune to normal enemies such as robots and bosses. They can also open charge. In addition, Samus can perform charge attack by spin jumping when the. Wait. Yeah. What's What's that? I'll never use it. But I have it now. Bitch. Lovely. I remember getting fucking punked here. Alright. What kind of game is this? What kind of game is this? Are you just making yourself a hoe? Alright, um... I'll tell everyone right now, we're not looking 100% this game. I'm literally just flying by the seat of my pants and having fun. That is my only goal here. Yeah, I'd like to emphasize, what kind of game are you playing that you're just like, yeah, the only way to survive is to hoe myself out. You're gonna, you're gonna make me rant about the degradation of society that a lot of women out there actually think that is the only way to... A lot of women out there actively think that, uh... Oh my goodness. Hold on. It's a miniature one target. It's a miniature one target screen. Oh my. That is intense. Look how fast I'm able to move through this game. I fucking love it. Hold on. Oh no, this is, this, this is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was all games moving. Yeah, you be here. What kind, of, what kind of game is this that they're just like, yeah, now whore yourself out. It'll be fun. God, that's probably a game that they hand to like little youngins or some shit that they're just like, here you go, play whatever game. It's cute. And then it turns out to just all be about sex. I get the ball. You could be playing Sims where it's all about sex. Hang on a second. Oh, never mind. I thought I saw something. Uh, I might have to, at some time during this episode, take a break. That'll be like 20, 30 minutes. I'll try to make it short, but this is fair on Your character's 386 years? <laughs> wow, I'm uncomfortable. Okay. At some... This game does such a good job. Like, SAX had so many great moments where they're like, 
we are now trying to scare the shit out of you and it worked but it was limited by the technology of its time this game is not limited by the technology of its time holy shit i love that you can hear them Okay, Max, so you're back in here with this thing. What can you do that you couldn't do before that makes this worth it, being in this dangerous ass place? Not that, that's for sure. What was the point of being in there, Max? Uh, I don't know, to be honest. I think it's more just to get up there. They're kind of like having me run through these different spots again. But now we're able to get like a few more prizes, I think. Yeah, okay, this is it. This is it. This is it. Fuck you, dad. Hold on. Oh, uh, the first one. Wait, hold on. I'm playing the same. Uh, the first one on the line was born in the Sheds, in the Chess Republic and moved to the U.S. Very nice. I also had her working as an S worker, and she said, "You can stay sex." And she started the family fortune that I keep trying to make explode in value. <laughs> anal seepage. Yeah, apparently you need an anal seepage test. Hey, Red, how's it going, man? I started late because my can't. Okay, you remember how in uh, in uh, Silent Hill, the uh, the camera kept glitching out. It's like super glitching out. Did you see the video on the Discord? Like it's it's bad. So I'm gonna need to figure out a new camera. I make terrible jokes about like y'all bitches need to start paying up, but that that's the same thing. Yeah, so I need to start figuring out a new camera. House fell through. Wait. You mean like it, it didn't happen? Oh. Before being moved to the US. This is about being a whole kid. Sorry to hear that about the house, huh? I think that's how lava works. There we go. Ow! Okay. Um, how does it think? Ow! Alright, okay. I'm starting to think none of these places want me to live here. None of, the, none of these places want me to be too little now. Oh. There'll be other opportunities. It'll be all good. So I didn't get it didn't happen. I like that I can shoot the projectile. Nope. Okay, well. Yeah, there'll, there'll be other houses. So, it's all good, man. I don't know what this button does. You're welcome! Thank goodness all machinery is operated through gun arms. It'd be really unfortunate if it wasn't. Redirected. I just redirected that shit. What exactly does that get me? Maybe. I feel like it's still gonna be hot. Still hot. Yeah, how, how's it going, Red? Jail is telling me about his adventures of being a whore. Which is, you you yourself regularly put it in joke, you have much experience in it. I don't know if you'd be able to give him, give him advice on it or not. 
What did the fuck did I just accomplish by do? Oh, there's a secret I want. I want it. That I just accomplished. Nice. We're gonna need all those fuck ton missiles when inevitably Ridley shows up and steals our shit. Alright, I'm gonna follow this tube. Yeah, let's let's follow this tube. Let's let's see where this let's see where this tube goes. Oh, there it goes. There it goes. There it goes. Okay. I was gonna say like, what's I don't even have a reason to shoot 90% of the things I'm shooting at this time. What? What? Oh my goodness. Fine, dad, I'll talk to you. Lock me in the fucking room. Fuck, shut my car. You. There was no record of your assailant in the Federation database. However, there are records of Vitozo Warrior Tron. One of them there raised you, bitch. Possibility that you are connected. Uh oh. I'm gonna keep drinking my coffee. You have seen the Warrior Tribe's architecture and artifacts on this planet. I conclude that this was one of their settlements. Mm -hmm. But why would someone lead you here and send the Emmy after you? The footage of the ex parasite may have been staged to lure you in. That's a completely reasonable thought process. The situation remains unclear. But your priority hasn't changed. You must return to the ship. You God, I love that. The goal is just to escape. System that has restored power to the closed thermal doors. Seek them out to proceed. They need not, they need magma or whatever in order to turn on. Search for the unique energy you employed against the first enemy. It is the only way you can confront them. God, wait till I just have the ability to find that shell like it's free. Limited. You may have noticed it dissipating after an enemy is destroyed. Yeah, it sucks. There are six remaining enemy hunting you. You have no means to confront them. Remember that. I feel like a lot of people are over here saying that I'm bitch main. I haven't gotten any since I moved up here, but karaoke bars are a great place to find people with money who drink too much if that helps. If that helps your endeavors. There it goes. It's a cool design door. I can't decide if I miss or if I don't miss karaoke bars specifically. Because I did go to a few in Japan, but I'm not a good singer. I know it's a surprise. You, you all may be shocked to learn this. I'm not a very good singer. Oh, yeah, I'm going to fuck you up. You're a little dickbag. Whoops! I've been had, tricked, bamboozled. I don't know if that's what I'm actually supposed to do or what, but I'm going in. But I feel like. I feel like doing that was my destiny. Just like falling uselessly into this pit is also my destiny. He's getting closer. Goodness, I look. I'm, I'm just amazed. Oh, hey, listen, big guy. Hey, hey, oh, oh. Ah! hey, stop. Oh, my goodness. Oh, can't believe it's fucking. That's it. That's it. That's it. Oh, my what the fuck. I can't shoot the damn Cheerios, bitch. Okay, good, good, good. Ah, fuck. Fire ball your ass around. Uh, I'm buckling into having to live here three more months. So while it's beautiful, I'm getting a little burned out on only having farm mails for conversation partners unless I go online. If I don't find something else in that time frame, I might just say fucking move back to the city. Don't, the city's evil. I'm pretty good. I'm pretty good at being nice at plumbing for time, but even I have my limits. Hey, it's a robotic version of Zero from Kirby. Wait, hold on. Was Zero the, uh... Was Zero the end bot, the secret boss of uh, six, Kirby 64? Or what am I thinking of? Gigantic, yeah, okay, sorry, I'm thinking of this, yeah. And he has like the weirdly angelic themes. And it was like, it was a really big tonal shift. That was Zero squared. 
Oh god, see, I actually haven't played that many Kirby games to be completely honest. What a gross ass eyeball. Touch. <laughs> oh, that's right, motherfucker. That's right, motherfucker. I harvested these brains, bitch. I am Iron Man up in this bitch. Golly, I hope I remember exactly how to use this thing. Omega Stream. None of that. Nope. Oh, I see. I see. Oh. Wait, hold to fire the Mega Stream. Give the shield a shot. Oh, okay. So you have to heat it up. And then blast it. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Uh, see, I love this though because now, it, now it's a game of we can fight back. How much energy do I got with this bitch? Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on! Oh, shit. oh, oh! That is such a small ass window. Damn, I thought I was, I, I was like ready too. I was sitting there just like, all right, let's go, let's do it. And oh my goodness. I love this game. <laughs> have I said that I love this game yet? I love that um, half the reason they have like the, uh... that's where I fucked up. Um, I love that half the reason that they have the, uh... The, the, which we call it, the four flaps off the side of the head is so you have an idea of how much you're heating it up. Like, it's so good. So much about this game is so good. Yeah, I need to go back and play the old Kirby's. I don't think it'd be a game I would do for stream. But I honestly really enjoyed Kirby 64. I can't remember the ones I played though. Oh, come on! I like that I hit Y too early because I tried to preempt it and it actually had Samus kick him and it did nothing. I really like that. But um, which ones did I play? There was the one on the Wii that was like Return to Dream Land. Uh, Yeah, the combo power-ups were a lot of fun. Although it did definitely have the problem of not all combo power-ups were made equal. You know what I mean? Okay, now run. Hold, Hold the line, brothers! Bitch! You had to tilt the Game Boy to move. Oh, fuck that. Fuck that. I love that the technology's there, but fuck that. You would like shake it to flip Kirby in the air is weird. I mean, that's like, I mean, okay. I love that motion controls exist, but every time it's always so gimmicky, you know what I mean? What the fuck is a spider magnet? Is it those blue things? Oh, it is. <gasps> Ooh. Nice. Nice. I need to play with my VR set more. I gal, I wish I wish we were able to figure out the good a good way to record with it cuz I would have loved to do VR videos with you guys. Obviously, we wouldn't really be able to do the VTuber model with it, so you'd see me live, but like there's like a lot of fun to be had there, you know what I mean? What I mean? I can! That's very nice. Right, yeah. Ooh. Bitch. 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 Alright. So many missiles. You guys are just roving little snack packs, aren't you? Yeah, I still need to play the, uh, it's like the original VR, the original, uh, Resident Evil 4 in VR. But, like, I'll have to do, I'll have to do some more playing with it to see if I can record it. Because that, I would, I would love 
I feel like you guys would have like a lot of fun with that. Or you know, me streaming it. That slide was super cool. Go say like there's gotta be a way around this. Yeah, Ryan did a hot tub stream with his VTuber shirt last last night. Oh god, fucking Ryan's emo ass, fucking VTuber. Nah, I give, I give shit. It looks good. I, it's not my style, but it looks good. Yeah, of course. God, the TOS things are such bullshit. I I I, I talked about it with people in IS Discord, but not really here. Like. Oh, it's not, it's not actual nudity. It's just a suggestion of nudity. Uh-huh, right. No, it's so many people just making excuses for whoring out. And Twitch, I'm still pissed about it. Okay, look, I know, Max, you pay attention to culture war stuff too much. Burr, burr, burr. You know what? Fair enough. I'll take that. But, like, I sit here and say all of the vaccines were bullshit. The election was rigged. Trump should have won. Like... Biden and Hunter Biden are corrupt pieces of shit. Obama's puppeting him. Anything else I should add? Um, you shouldn't you shouldn't add hormones to your kids or anything like that. I get fucking banned. But you know what? You want to be your top half because you're a hot girl? Then fair enough. Like, ugh, it's so annoying. Exactly. Yeah, if they just had better 18 plus restrictions and if it wasn't on the front page. Because that's the thing. Like, I haven't drank coffee before. That's the thing that drives me the most nuts about it. Because it's like... Little Billy is just going to see that on the front page. And, oh, it's only a suggestion. Oh, what the fuck? What the fuck is that thing? It's a penis. It's a penis! Ow, son of a bitch. I just fought a giant one-eyed willy. A little purple-eyed snake. A little... <laughs> The little Alabama Paisa. <laughs> Industrial Bell kicks in. Yeah, joke's on you, though. Rage against the machine. Rage is for the machine. They count down under Biden like you wouldn't believe. No, to a certain extent, you are correct. Yeah, I'm, yeah in a lot of... Actually, I'm not going to say to a certain extent. In a lot of ways, you are very much correct. But, um... Yeah, Little Billy... Little Billy is gonna like hop on Twitch and not get, you know, and not know, and he's just gonna be like, oh, porn. It's just like, it's putting sexualization in front of children. It's, it's just sexualizing them more and more. And it, it, you're saying like, Max, that sounds weird. Yeah, it is weird. And people are doing it. Schools are doing it. And Twitch doesn't care. They're making money. Let's get back on track, shall we? Fuck! I'm just seeing so many damn misses that. Yeah! Bitch, you do not know how many missiles I got. Oh. Parry. Oh. I, oh. 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 Parry. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's right. Keep that shit. Oh. Can I parry that? Oh. I don't think I can parry that. Oh, I thought I could, like, climb over it. I feel like I'm supposed to parry that. Yeah, get fucked. <laughs> oh. Ooh. Ho, 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 ho. Yeah, okay. Come on, come on, come on. Ah, oh, my angle is slightly rough. Nope. Okay, the cutscenes are fun, but I kind of wish the game would just let me keep playing as well. Oh, he moved it in his anus! God, he literally moved an organ around in his body. That is gross as shit. What? What? He moved it! Ow. Ow. Okay, I'm not sure how I was supposed to get around that. Are allowed to on yours and it's normal as this. I can see the argument for that, but the people who argue for this want to use this money making angle more than it. Exactly. It's, it's it's just predatory. It's just predatory money making more than anything else. I'm personally against normalizing it. 
just because like there's already so much out there that like I don't think I've met a single person who's like, yeah, girls should be able to allowed to have their tits out, no problem. Who are not just being like perverts, or you know, like, oh no, please keep your boobs covered. Oh no, like it. A lot of it is just perversion. Exactly that too. Like, oh, I'm just trying to normalize it. Yeah, sure. Okay, no, you're whoring yourself out to to make money. Oh wait, what am I doing? Oh, bitch. Oh, I could pay that. I keep thinking I can parachute, but I can't. Oh, shit. This is so. Oh! Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. Uh. Shit. Oh! I fucked it up again. No, 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 no. Um, doesn't matter to me if you know, it's usually it's attention to culture, what it's to change for. Yeah, like, it's basically any discussion for, like, I'm just trying to normalize it. It's ultimately to get attention, to make money, that kind of stuff. It's not, it's not them genuinely trying to make it normal. Also, to make the terrible jokes of 90% um, of the people. Oh, what the fuck? How's this to survey that? 90% of the people who go to nude beaches are not the people you want to see at nude beaches. But that's a that's a joke. Oh, that my parents will make. Because they're horrible people. And I love them for it. Uh, they're doing the flippy. Yep, okay. Bitch! Oh my goodness! Yeah, 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 yeah! We're running the curse down. Oh wait, can I parry that again? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Badass. Let me just. Let me just. Pop. It. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Have you made the mistake of still being alive? Let me rectify that. Fucking badass. Amazing. <gasps> give me that organ. <laughs> give me give me that shit. It's mine now. It's mine now. Excellent. I have the Rubik's Cube. I can see from the other, but North America is really bad about boobs for some reason. Well, it's just because it's the easiest and most obvious version. There's some there's something a little different about showing your asshole than showing boobs. Oh, my favorite thing about new beaches is when families go to them because they aren't crowded compared to the normal ones, and they explain that some old man walks by naked. <laughs> yeah, but they see each other naked, so... Yeah. <gasps> we do have Aeon! Fuck yeah, Aeon! But we get invisibility. By refracting light, you can also move silently, albeit at slower speed. Seriously, have, has invisibility been a thing in other Metroid games? I'm blanking. Press to activate. Press once again. Deactivate. And will be slowly consumed while abilities activate. Moving or firing weapons while activated will consume additional Aeon. Oh, and it can consume health as well. I love it. After deactivation, Aeon will begin to recharge automatically once Samus makes any, makes any actions. The ability cannot be activated again until the Aeon is full. Ooh. Nice. That was a really fun boss fight too. Like, obviously, I was kind of like, I was I was reading chat and like not not being the best about it, but like, that was a lot of fun. Like, there was a lot of aspects going on. There was a lot of. Um... Oh, so I got I gotta leave and then oh I gotta leave it. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah, I was kind of, I was kind of brute forcing it, playing a little brain dead, but I'm not gonna deny it for a moment. That was, that was some good fun right there. I really loved his design. I love how it changed. I love how it made me use the slide, the dash, the spider magnet. Like that, that's a lot of fun. Uh, let's see. No, like families full on go to the new beach and don't get naked. Then they treat it like regular public beach and they get mad brothers when they practice the nude part. It's like a really weird hill, Dion. You weren't there by choice, no one was. 
Nice. That is a really weird. Yeah, because it's like, let's go to the new beach. So, you know, it's less crowded. Oh, I can't believe people here are nude. It, 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 it's a new beach. Oh, it tells you when things are acquired. Nice. Yeah, it's a new beach. You, 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 you know what it is. <laughs> Like you know why you're, you know what it's used. I don't. Know. Yeah, that is that is really weird there. Right, I'll talk to Dad real quick, or not, because he doesn't want to talk. But um, no, I think if I had to sum up like what's America's deal when it comes to like boobs and stuff, a lot of it does come from I would say Christian foundations. You know what I mean? Like this country was founded on Christian ideals and stuff. This country was founded on Christian ideals, and you know, back in the day, those Christian ideals were a lot more focused on being a bit more, uh, what's a good word for it? Oops. Puritan about it. Which has its ups and its downs, right? But, you know, over time, a lot more stuff became a lot more, uh, what's a good word for it? Free and open about it, which I would say is a good thing, like, but it also can be taken too far, especially when people are just naked. Now, if we want to have discussions about boobs shouldn't be covered in the first place, there's probably some talk about, like, oh, you know, it's actually for practicality reasons because. Wow. Was... God. Right. No, I shouldn't say that. It's possible. Um. Shit, what am I supposed to go? Oh, I need to go back around and then. Okay. There's some. You, we could have some conversations about it. There's a practical reason for it because they get all floppy. But also. I don't think having those kinds of, like, requests for covering and stuff is in itself a bad thing. To be completely honest. Can it, t can it go too far? Of course it can. Good job. But. What the fuck? But I'm, I'm not going to sit here... Oh, there we go. I'm not going to sit there and be the guy who is, like, free the nipple. Because, like I said, 90% of the time, whenever people make arguments for, like, free the nipple or, uh... My body, my choice. I'm going to be topless. It's always to get attention. It's not genuinely because they're just trying to, like, live their life. You know what I mean? And that's what bugs me about it. about that. I mean, I always took it to be English as well, but, like, I don't believe it's a federally recognized official religion because the founding fathers want to set free. Right, okay, so, that is correct. Okay. This is a weird, contradictory thing with the United States. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't know that. I didn't know that, to be completely honest. I didn't you today. Okay. Yeah, this is a weird contradictory concept of America, and it's one of the reasons I think America's great. That, okay, it was founded on Christian ideals. So, and in fact, you know, Christianity is the most popular religion. You could have discussions about, like, and the founding fathers were pretty much for the most part, uh, not everyone, but for the most part, for the most part, um, like, Christian in nature. At minimum, if they were not Christian, they recognized the importance of Christi... We... They recognized the importance of Christianity in its fundamental concepts when it comes to the rights of the people, right? But a big part of America was that, you know, you could... Oh, shh, what the fuck? What the fuck just happened? I don't... A big part of America is that, yes, you can have freedom of religion. So, you are... You know, I can do that. So, yes, I would say it is a Christian nation in the sense that it was based on it, but you are technically correct that it is not a... It is not a hard, required, like, everyone must be Christian. It's not like a lot of Middle Eastern countries where it's like, no, you will be. You will be a father. And we could have discussions about how that's a good thing and a bad thing. I think it's ultimately a good thing because there's no point in religion if you're, um, oh shit. 
Simply put, there's no point in religion if you're forced into it. So I think it's a good thing overall, but some people would say bad because it's a unifying set of morals and beliefs. But, um, oh, look at that. What's that yellow and that red dot for? <laughs> what do those mean? Yeah, sure, I'll go to Katara's Fuck it. <laughs> Let's go with my go-go boots, bitch. <laughs> Saw sparks. Hot damn, I look good. Every game that, like, improves the graphics, I'm just like, damn, I look good. Literally had a branch called the Mormons try to find a religious kingdom in the middle of the US. We chipped away at it and we found valuable ores. If you have to just kill the try to do what we tried to say. Exactly. Yeah. Like, okay. I'm a Christian. Like, I, I think that's pretty clear and obvious. Uh, if it was up to me, this would make a great desktop background. Just that screen right there. I'm a Christian. If it was up to me, everyone would become a Christian. But if ever, but I cannot force people to become Christians. If I force anyone to become a Christian, then I lose the point of it. Like, you know, we, we lost, we lose its meaning. I, it's like, I mean, the whole, one of the big points of Christianity is that like, it's forming a relationship with God and Jesus, right? That it's not like, oh, what the fuck is that thing? It's not some just solely strict set of rules. He's God the Father, right? But, but, just like in real life, you can't force someone to be friends with someone else, and that's not something I'd want you to do to someone else. Should, would there be benefits too if we all say had the same moral system? Yeah, sure, probably, if I'm in a consistency. But that doesn't mean it's for the best to do such a thing. But, because we were based initially on Christian morals and the like, we have those, you could call them hang-ups, or you could call them benefits from early society. That being said, I still think there should be some kind of unifying morals, just for sake of consistency, because to take it to its extreme, if, um, if there's a part of the nation that decides its morals say it's okay to kill people, you know what I mean? Like, that creates problems, so that's why, like, the laws were made. Sure, it's based on Christianity, but it's not Christian itself. And I would take the same thing with like English. It is not a confirmed English based society, but it's unifying enough to keep us together. Even if it's not 100%. Because if it was 100%, then yeah, you're taking away that freedom. Having everyone say it's boring, no one questions anything. Man. Exactly, yeah. We're on the way to 19 parameters though, so what do I know? <laughs> As long as I'm sitting here trying to get banned for Twitch, it's like, well, y'all took the vaccine because the government told you to, so if they accidentally sterilize your ass, that's on you at this point. <laughs> that's me being terrible. Big Brother's watching. Yeah. Spook keeps joking that I'm going to get canceled on Twitter. It's like, I honestly deserve it, probably. Oh, come on. Oh, I can just shoot missiles at whenever I want. I was sitting there waiting for the little... Waiting for the little things. I can just shoot missiles willy fucking nilly the fuck is that thing oh god sterilization from micro will start to be more than a determined because it's already yep yep but no what I was more referencing was um don't worry about vaccines <laughs> it'll only get worse no have you looked into myocarditis at all or anything like that how the mRNA vaccines straight up are poisoning people. The people who are like having sudden heart attacks and dying. Yeah, that's that's the vaccine. <laughs> and the more vaccines people take from like Pfizer and shit, the more like that's gonna happen. <laughs> Uploading data. Like, look, if people want to take the vaccine, God bless them. I wish them the best, all right? But it being forced was my hang up. And that's why I never took it. Because it wasn't tested enough, so I wasn't comfortable doing it. Which is why when Gina Carano and the people got, like, fired over that shit, or the people in the military got fired over that shit, it was so creepy. But, rah, 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 Spoutine. Uh, okay. I have located the nope. central routing system for the magma. It is here in Tataris. Samus, your current nope. suit cannot protect you as you explore Tataris. The extreme heat of the lava is too much for it. Under no circumstances should you enter high temperature areas. I think areas. Adam's full of shit. I know the shuttle somewhere above here. Use it to find a path forward. I don't think Adam should just say Adam There's doesn't know what the fuck they're on about. It is your new phantom cloak ability. It's pretty nice. The phantom cloak prevents the enemy from detecting you. Thus far, your only option was to run. Now, 
bypassing them is also an option. Okay, Locations Adam, you're getting you're getting a little preachy here. Severely decreases your mobility, and direct contact with an enemy will still result in capture. It is up to you whether to hold your position. Just be aware of your surroundings. Yes, ma'am. Sir. Useless. Once an enemy sees you, you will need to evade capture until it gives up pursuit. Mm. The phantom cloak can remain active after your aim has been depleted. It will consume your life energy instead. I love that that's an option. Consider it a desperate measure. Remember, it cannot drain your energy down to nothing. Judicious use of this technique will improve your probability of survival. That's the thanks, Dad. I'm so cool. I would say you still have a choice, but I'm gonna be completely honest with you. I do not know. You know your condition better than I do. So, like, I could be totally wrong and talk about my ass. I will 100% admit that. I'm not gonna sit here and be like, no, I know your condition better than you do. But, see, it comes down to a choice then. And if it's a choice, if that's the choice you wanna make, then I'm okay with it. Like, fuck, you can shove broccoli in your veins for all I care if it's your choice and you're an adult. <laughs> like,. Oh, God. That is very unfortunate. I'm sorry to hear that. Like, with the whole vaccine thing, my philosophy was like, okay, point out the medicine. Quick was good overall, right? But it should not be forced. It being forced is where the problems start. Because then that, that opens the slippery slope to the government forcing a lot of creepy shit. Which I'm not about whatsoever. What if, for whatever reason, let's just make up something horrible, the government decides all all black people are too dangerous for their own good, and the best way to do this is to give them medicine to make them less black, and it turns out the medicine just sterilizes them. But, they, but we have now created the legal precedent that they can legally do that. It's creepy. It's awful. Like, of course no one would agree to what I just said, but governments can now... Because we have opened the door... To the government is allowed to force you to take medicine. Congratulations, we've opened the door to that. We've opened the door to fucking uh, what is it? A eugenics. We've opened the door to eugenics. We've opened the door to all sorts of malpractice and like bad shit. So my thing is like, take whatever medicine you want for it. Heck, rub crystals on it. Put broccoli in your veins. I don't give a shit. It's your life. Oh shit. You know, like it's it's your life. Do what you feel you have to do. This is a problem. Oh, I was gonna say this is a problem all of a sudden. <laughs> it's why when people are freaking out about Joe Rogan saying like, uh, this is the episode where I try to get banned, by the way. Uh, it's why when people are talking about like Joe Rogan and stuff, right? It's like, oh my goodness, he wants to give people horse pace. I forget exactly what the what the medicine is called, but the medicine that he was saying might be helpful is a medicine that's been used on humans for decades it's been proven it's safe it, it's you know it, i think it's used for uh what's the what's the disease that uh malaria I, I think it's used on malaria but i could be wrong about that but people try to burn them at the stake for it because it wasn't what big corporation Pfizer wanted people to get and that's why i'm sitting here like it's so creepy it's so wrong <laughs> That, I would say, is somewhat due to technology, but I understand the libertarian mindset of, like, you can't just do shit on your own property anymore, which is definitely its own bag of worms and problem that I agree with. There's a there's a whole lot of the government can now just tell you to do things you don't want to do, and I'm, I'm not a fan of that either. Now, that doesn't mean... Fuck. Does that mean I should just give up on freedom? No, but I think it is important to be aware of it and to call it out. Uh, so I would agree with that sentiment. Climb the wall. Climb the wall. You can't. You can stop me here. Climb the wall. Oh. Oh. God, I love that mechanic. It's so good. It's also due to having a lot more people than we did. Right, exactly. When, like, when there was, like, no actual, like, way to track and regulations and there wasn't technology to, like, communicate such information, you could just build a house in the forest and no one would notice until you came into town. And then they'd be like, where, where do you live, by the way? They'd, I'd be like, oh, I'm in the forest. And they're like, oh, neat. What forest? That one. 
What, what do you want to call it? Uh, Hatchet Square. Neat. But now with like the internet and everything. And also there is a lot of good reason for a census to be kept. And to keep track of people because, you know, I don't like taxes. But taxes do have some legitimate purviews that are important. So I'm not going to deny that. Oh. oh, look at that giant mech suit. I want it. I'm going to have to fight it. I'm going to have to fight that mech suit, aren't I? Damn it. But it'll be, so, it'll be hype when I have to do it. It'll be hype when I have to go murder that mech suit. Oh, shit. Oh. Fucking... Call him your tits! There you go. Nope. I said calm your tits. You're gonna calm your tits, mister. Uh, like the earth could hold 20 billion. This would be all sacrificed if freedoms were good to hide, but... Oh, no. It could... Okay, if we were all robots and our freedoms were relevant, we could hold so many more. Dude, think of all the empty space and, like, the ocean and the deserts. If you really wanted to say fuck comfort and we're just trying to get as many people as possible to live in space, dude, we could probably hold, like, 100 billion. Easy. I'm, I'm fully convinced of that. Whenever people say there's like not enough resources or space on the planet, it's like, no, there totally is. It's just a matter of like what kind of living conditions people want to have. It, and yeah, that is a question. What kind of quality of life would it be? Like, heck, people are in like China and stuff making. I was gonna say, can I, can I turn it invisible? Why is he neon green? <laughs> Why the fuck is he neon green? He looks like the... <gasps> this one can crawl! This one can crawl! <laughs> he looks like the... Uh... You remember with the 11th Doctor when the Daleks were rebooted somewhat? And they were like, we have a new genus of Dalek! Uh, he looks... Nice. He looks like one of the Power Ranger Daleks. Which is kind of hilarious. Oh. Listen, listen, let's, let's talk about this. Bitch! Get fuckled! Get fuckled! Get fuckled, my guy! Hear me out, my man! Hear me out, motherfucker! Get fuckled! I'm out! Sweet, hold on. I think I'm dead. Yep. I'm out. Yep. <laughs> Seven year contract for 71. That's pretty good. <laughs> Dude. 71 million dollars? Yeah. Fuck yeah. Just make sure you get paid up front. Or, or at least like halfway up front. Not gonna lie. It kind of feels like we're going that route. We are. We are. That's all. <laughs> That's all I have to say to that. We totally are. No, more and more place. Oh, God. Let me get my Alex Jones hat real quick. Should I have an Alex Jones sound alert? I feel like I should. But I don't know what the sound clip would be. Um, also, fuck yeah for the auto saves in this game. My goodness. It's sexy. But um, let's get, like, literally, have you heard the concept of 15-minute cities? It's the creepiest shit. The idea is that, like, okay. It's one of those things that if you just say it singularly on paper by itself, it's not bad. It, it actually is a good idea. Like, I, I mean, I'm not just saying that. It is actually a good idea. The idea of it, thank goodness he didn't crawl the sea on that, which sucked. The idea of it is that um, everything that you could possibly need to live your life oh my energy ran out I didn't even realize wow that worked out that could look really bad but um, the idea of the 15 minute city is that anything you could possibly need in your life could be either brought to you or is within 15 minutes of your abode. That's it. So, hospital, restaurants, like hospital, restaurants, 
ways to get degrees, way to do your job. Everything would be within 15 minutes, which on paper doesn't. The fuck is that? Which on paper doesn't sound that bad. Like, who doesn't want everything they need to be close by and convenient, right? Like. That scanner was fucking on me. Oh, so when I turn this shit off, I can't turn it back on until it's fully charged again, but it charges faster because it wasn't depleted. That's some bullshit right there. Oh, 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 oh that's creep. Oh, that would creep me out. So they're just like, fuck, you know. You know there's something in the program here that if you're standing still, it'll sit there and get real close and then leave. Oh, that was creepy. I love that. Oh my goodness. Emmys are the best. Yeah, and I can't use it again because... Oh. Fuck. But yeah, that's the idea of it. Now, it's a good idea on paper... Oh, fuck. Fuck my life. Right in the neck. It's a good idea on paper because everyone wants everything to be closer, right? But it's also really creepy because you keep people in cubes. You keep people in boxes. You can essentially at any time take all of their resources, take away their freedom. Everything's close by. Your ability to live as a free human being is shut down. Those kind of places are giant cities. They're not out in nature with people and stuff. It's straight up Judge Dredd. Watch the Judge Dredd is stuck in my head because I watched the remake one last night. It wasn't as good as the first one. Just watch. Oh, shh. Watch Judge Dredd. It is literally Judge Dredd, where it's like, oh yeah, everyone just lives in one big ass. Everyone just lives in one big ass apartment, essentially. But you can really easily be taken over and controlled. It's giving up your freedoms in the name of having more people live in one area. Gotta hide in this corner and hope. Don't climb up here. Don't climb. <laughs> Exactly. And it's like, oh, well, how would you fuel these? How would you fuel the, uh, Hujima calls it? The, uh, how would you fuel these 15 minute cities? Well, you would have either automated farms or a slave economy or just people. You would have a different attention block dedicated to farming. It's, it's literally, okay, I'm sure you guys have heard this before. It's 1984 stuff. It's, um,. I can't tell where he is from his sounds. I'm trying to like suss him out. It's difficult and it's really scary. Um, it's literally you will you will live in the pond. You will eat bugs. That is quite literally it. And it's creepy as shit. I don't remember exactly how we got onto this conversation, but like yeah, if oh if you yeah if that's what a lot of governments in China are kind of like looking into and it's just it's creepy as shit it's really weird it's really off-putting fuck that if it was up to me god it all started with boobies no that's the degradation of society and encouraging pedophilia and the like the sexualization of children the ability to change people's gender like early as possible you can't trust them to have a beer own a gun or serve in the military but you know what you can trust them to cut off the dick like fuck that Fuck over sexualizing your children and fuck people trying to normalize on Twitch. It's like, oh yeah, boobs should be normalized. No, you're just trying to whore yourself out, make money. Oh, yeah, look at that. You're just trying to whore yourself out, make money, and manipulate people. And frankly, cool. Frankly, fuck that. Is there any other culture war rants we should have? Like, I'm, I'm, I'm in a mood, apparently. <laughs> no, I'm not in a mood. I'm just, I'm just chill. It's Friday stream. You know how it is. We're here to have a good time. And if that's the conversation we're having, that's the conversation we're having. I blame Jail in his fucking bit life game, where it openly encouraged him to fucking make it OnlyFans, which is creepy as shit. Why is it encouraging? What if a kid's playing that game and they're like, Ma, I do think the right way to live my life is to make it OnlyFans. Like, what the fuck? 
Let kids be kids. Quit trying to hypersexualize them. Quit trying to show. Oh, shit. Well, I'm dead. This is unfortunate for everyone involved. Shit, that didn't work out like I was hoping it would. Ah. Oh, shit. Well. <laughs> bitch. Oh, wait. I escaped. Escape. 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 Shit. <laughs> Listen. I tried. Ah! In my chest. There's so many jobs in the game. Oh, so you just, you just conveniently going for the one where you're a sex worker? Not even a classy ass sex worker. Look, if you were an Oiran, is that how it's spelled? Oiran? If you're an Oiran, I'd let that shit slide. But you ain't. So I'm gonna make fun of you. I don't make the law. Alright. I just tell you how it's gonna work. Bitch. Alright. Kyle, a fire suit would be really nice at some point. Be an Oiran, damn it. Because then at least you need to be cultural and artistic touchstones of a society. Literally, in some cases, Oirans held more authority than the fucking shoguns to shoot through, whatchamacallit, a uh, sheer... Nope. Can't quite, uh... Oh, oh. Yeah, I can't quite do that, but I'll try. Um, Oiran's held more political power through sheer, like, social influence because of their ability to entertain and influence people through, like, culture and art, being suave, insight. They were the real-life bard of Japan. Damn it. If you're gonna make yourself a whore, be it, a lot of times, Oiran's didn't even have sex with people. Because many times, that's not what you hired them for. But they held power and influence, and that was that was seen as very valuable. And ra ra ra, motherfucking! Oh whoa, what is this? Whoa. I didn't realize this was something I could fuck with. You could even be a CEO if you're lucky. Don't worry, you're only gonna get paid seventy percent though. <laughs> Which isn't true, but it's funny to say. Uh, I don't know if my message went through. It did not show up on the screen chat. Um, it all started with boobies. I didn't see it. Like retail, airline, corporate, farmer, ju uh, jeweler, municipal. Like prison. Uh, TV person, medical, police, military vet, stockbroker. Don't be a stockbroker. That means that you're going to go to hell if you're a stockbroker. <laughs> I'm 90% sure that's how it works. Oh, I, I, I gotta go. Oh. <gasps> can I go around? Oh my goodness, I can. That is sexy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. Sex. Oh, well, I can. oh sh shit. 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 Yeah. The 30 year sex worker got offered to become a CEO. How do you become how do you become a CEO from being a sex worker? That they're like, listen, you give so much you give so much head and so well, we want you to be head of the company. And everyone's like uh, everyone's like, I don't think this is the right moral decision, you suck the dick. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> She's survived 30 years in the sex industry. Clearly, she's doing something right. As long as we're ranting about political stuff, let me tell you about Judge Dredd, the best move. Okay, so the original came out, and I forget what year, but it was in Sylvester Stallone's heyday, to put it simply. And it is such a good movie. It exudes comic book silliness. I highly, highly, highly recommend it to anyone. It's just, it's fun. It's stylized. It's such a good time. But there's so many aspects of that movie that are like such incredible social commentaries and I love it. Like, on one side you watch, on one side you watch Judge Dredd and it's like, this is very clearly a comic book. But then there are like so many moments in that movie that you're like, this is a documentary. This, this is a doc. <laughs> 
from like the political corruption to how the uh, to how the uh, who'd you wanna call it justice system works. It's all just so good, and I mean that. I mean that genuinely. Like I'm not even saying that it's like it actually sucks. Like no, it, it is actually just a very well made movie. And last night, my sister and I. Uh, we watched the newer Judge Dredd, which was, which, where, uh, oh. Oh, sh Where the, uh... Oh, bullshit! I missed. <laughs> I love that they show you the parry that you can just fucking die. I love that you're like, ha, oh, <laughs> it's so good. And the auto saves that are like right before each emu zone, fucking sex, it's lovely. But, um, I shouldn't say that. That's not very classy state. Oh, there's a secret item right there. I also really love that this game tells you when there's are secrets. Oh, it's probably this, which I can't get into yet. Watch me never get the wolf ball. God, that would be so weird to have a Metro game where I just never get the morph ball. I love it for being different, but like that'd be so weird. Nope. There's no way I'm getting away with this. There's no way I'm getting away with this. How did I get away with this? How did I get away with this? How did I get away with that? I should not have gotten... I should not have gotten away with this. How the fuck did I just get away with that? How? 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 Oh, shit balls. Damn it. Double damn it. Oh, fuck you. Fuck you. <laughs> because, yeah, that 30 years. <laughs> make her, her, make her the CEO. <laughs> But yeah, the, the original Judge Dredd is very good. I highly, highly recommend it. Essentially, I said I think it's okay to change your body to represent what you want to say. You should be an adult for making a choice like that. Unless you've been born, to farming from all advanced and make your grandchildren have to do that. What should be handled on kids? Because I don't think I could have made a choice like that. 14 hours. That is a completely reasonable statement. That is 100% reasonable. Like, I'm all for people who want to be who they are, but only if they're hard. Like, okay, so I think I mentioned this before. But like. Over the years, my philosophy when it comes to your gender, your sexuality, your religion, your political opinions, literally anything that you think would define you as a person. Anything. I mean that. Anything. I don't care as long as they... Uh, oh, shit. Oh, shit. I don't care as long as you can do a few things for me. And at first it might be like, Max, you're about to say five things. They're real easy. Fuck this droid. I hope you like that I rubbed my dick on your face. Um, that happens a lot to people. People who make the change early and then fucking regret it. And, like, all their stories are always, like, pulled under the rug because, like, fucking with their hormonal balances like that. Congratulations, you can never orgasm. You can never have kids. Congratulations, your insides have just been fucking ruined. But, like, it doesn't fit an agenda, so people don't want to talk about it. It, it, takes away, it takes away from the goals of the people who want to push that stuff. Because, let's be honest, if someone becomes transgender at a very young age and they have to sit there and constantly get whatever hormonal imbalances, companies are incentivized to have them keep doing that because it's an eternal customer. That's, it's as simple as that. It's a, it is an eternal customer. Like, congratulations. 
you just made money for life because you convinced this poor girl who probably is having suicidal thoughts because she's like abused or like not getting proper mental health or treatment or care or being parented properly. But instead you just pump her so full of drugs that congratulations, you'll make money off of her forever. If I could shrug right now, I would. Like, I can't shrug as a VTuber, you know what I mean? Heck, if I was doing a live action camera, you could see me shrug. You could also see me mess with, I'm pretty sure my glasses are digging into my nose. Right. Like, it's people voluntarily becoming an eternal customer like that. And it sucks, and it's unfortunate that so many medical things don't focus, in your case, that they don't focus on cures, they focus on treatments. Because that, that's a whole separate can of worms, the whole thing of like, we could probably, we probably have the technology to cure cancer, but we don't because you make more money off of treatments as opposed to a cure. Because once someone is cured of a disease, they, they don't need, they are not a customer anymore. So that's next level fucked up. But like, but like, okay, so the, the things I was talking about, like that, I don't care what you are, who you are, as long as you can fulfill these things. I know, right? It's crazy. They just slit their own wrists falling down the stairs by shotgun in the back four times. Like, just wow. The guy hung himself with three shotgun shells to the chest. It's crazy. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. I'm full conspiracy theorist. I'm fully convinced that the cure for cancer is out there. But whenever people make it, they shut them down. It's like, um, do you, have you noticed that every few years? Yep. Yep. Have you ever, have you noticed that every few years someone invents a mushroom or something that can eat microplastics and clean water perfectly? How come those never get funded? How come different like ecological organizations decide to save the planet and shit? They never work on that. They never, they never look any further into that. <laughs> Yeah, they never work on that. It's crazy, right? Oh yeah, the hydrogen car. Like when I watched Tim Pool, which I I told my sister this that like I do not agree with everything Tim Pool says, but he talks about different subjects and other political people I listen to, so I still listen to him. There's a guy in there named Ian. He has a good heart. God bless him. I also want to punch him a lot of the time. And he is obsessed with hydrogen fuel and graphene. And as much as he's obsessive about it and a little bit of a weirder guy, he's a hundred percent right. Like, you could make a fuel that works so much better than oil, and the graphene could be used in so much construction things and so many different whatevers, and no one does. Ain't that just weird? That's a cool puzzle right there. I like that. Ain't that just weird? Yeah, the hydrogen cars that could uh, replace other cars and stuff, and uh, whatever happened to that? Where'd those go? And a lot of that does come down to the idea of the petrol dollar. Right. There is a certain... Okay, so a lot of the reason that certain dollars or currencies hold value is because they're from countries that provide oil and the like, right? So, okay, let's let's finish our thoughts before we talk to Adam here. Um, slowly... Like, slowly zoom in on Samus. Oh, wait, no, I forgot. I don't have an editor. I can't do that. I have to manually zoom in on Samus. No, I'm not going to do that. Um, there's a certain amount of power that comes with your currency being locked to a kind of fuel or resource that everyone requires. So by introducing a new kind of fuel that, that can change or alter that, it changes the balance of said power. It's all good. You could do that? <laughs> How much control do you actually have? Knowing you, you'd like every now and then you just like do something to fuck with me. Nah, I'm kidding. You wouldn't do that. But um, there's a certain amount of economical power that comes to having a resource or having the currency that's linked to the resource. There's a reason that America has the petrol dollar. So let's just make something up. Let's say there's a country, uh, Sokovia, that just starts going fucking hardcore on hydrogen fuel as a concept, right? And before you know it, they don't need oil whatsoever. Now, no one has... 
a certain amount of power over them. And then they'll start selling their resource to other people. And then those people will no longer have that power of the petrol dollar on them as well. And like, I know what everyone's thinking that like, oh, oh, so you're saying this is big, bad, evil capitalism. No, this is governmental control. This is economy manipulation. This is governmental manipulation of other nations. This is a just big, bad, evil man wants to twirl his mustache and make money. No, this is, I mean, there might be a certain aspect of that as well. But it's in it's dirty capitalism and control and power. That's why it's such a concern. That's why it's such an issue. And like why those things keep disappearing and it's bullshit. They should they should be allowed to thrive. Like, you know, those things are destroyed, but solar panels and wind power, which is inconsistent and as fuck, isn't being used. Nuclear power is such an obvious way that we have and we know it works, but everyone's so against it conveniently even though it would solve so many like think of like the absolute amount of like ecological damage being done by coal and stuff and oil and i support coal and oil those are good but i want it to be replaced by something better once it can be not something that sucks like if we replace all coal with like wind and wind and water and uh, wind and wa okay water is actually more consistent but like wind and solar if wind and solar could 100 percent output more than coal then fuck yeah let's go for it i did not tell, yeah tell me about leaded fuel yes i could literally put up random vehicle clips of as if they were redeem history if you gave me the keys huh neat i'll have to look into that but um what was i saying yeah like i'm a, i am all for solar and whatever kind of energy if it can replace the consistency and the power output of coal and oil because simply put dealing with rolling blackouts or brownouts and the like is not worth it people die no one ever talks about how those blackouts and brownouts kill people because they lose life support heating cooling whatever it is so have you noticed that people have gotten more aggressive number of life choices as time has gone i always took that more as like cultural polarization and isolation when it comes to bubbles and different people's opinions and more and more people's identities being linked to different political views that if anyone questions them or anything like that they like think it's a personal attack but okay i'll hear you out what was i saying oh no all, almost all conspiracy theories are real that's it yep uh birds aren't real and uh the moon landing was fake <laughs> Oh, <laughs> that is it. I'm putting the lead back in the paint of your place. That's it. We're putting plutonium and uranium in all your toothpaste and all your toothbrushes. Your pocket watch, uranium, boy. <laughs> oh, sorry. Okay, let me finish my one thought that's gonna get me banned from Twitter or banned from Twitter and Twitch. Okay, okay, here we go. Okay, so I do not care what your creed religion gender sexuality beliefs political anything about you as a person that you'd use as like an identifying characteristic of yourself i do not care about any of it as long as you could do it's kind of four things but it's also kind of five things okay so all i ask is that you be if i could do like ding can i do dings um i used to have a ding button but not i have this oh, that doesn't count nope okay so, if you could just do five things for me. If you could be a happy, healthy, nah, I won't do that. Or, uh, don't I have a fine button? <laughs> yeah. If you could just be a happy, healthy, consensual adult that is not being manipulated and not harming anyone else. Now, obviously, the not being manipulated part is a little bit more difficult. So, let's just focus on the four. Happy, healthy, adult, and you're not directly harming or creating uh i guess it's like a harmful situation because like people going i'm not touching you and screaming in your face well i'm not harming you disrupting so let's say that happy healthy adult that is not harming or disrupting anyone else you know if i dig up your grandma's oh maybe i should say like if i dig up if i dig up your i don't know your pet dog's corpse and i start fucking it in front of you on your front porch I'm not harming you. I'm not harming anyone, but I'm disrupting the fuck out of you. So, like, obviously, I'm not going to allow for that. 
Well, Red, it's because you brought up your grandma having health issues that I realized that would be in poor taste to say grandma. I'm sorry. <laughs> but you get the idea of it. Like, but like, you get the idea of it, right? Like, oh, if I am if I dig up your parents' corpse, I start fucking it in front of you. I'm not harming you. Yeah, but I'm disrupting the fuck out of you. It's like the kids who go like, I'm not touching you. And they're like getting really up in your face. And they keep making motions like they're going to punch you, but they're not. And then like you punch back because you don't know if they're not going to punch you or not. Like, it's the same exact thing. Like, you're being disruptive. Even if I'm not touching you. Like, fuck that soccer player bullshit mentality. But, um, you're mentally destabilizing me by doing that shit. Exactly. Right. Uh, your shampoo guess what it uh, now has E235 in it. That's why it died. Ha, huh, your dick has plutonium in it now. Get fucked. <laughs> but, like, um, so, okay. So, let's just take people's religion, Christianity, right? Well, if you're a happy, healthy adult. You know, you're not, you're not cutting yourself as part of, or let's just take religion. You're not cutting yourself as part of your religion. You're doing it willingly. It makes you happy. It's consensual. And as an adult, you're making that decision. And you're, I'm not going around screaming in people's faces like, like, you're going to hell. Or, or like, I'm trying to like beat people up or like poison them or, or not poison them, uh, prison them or shit for doing different things when they're not harming anyone else. Then yeah, Christianity is fine. You could say the same thing with, like, Islam, right? As long as they're not, you know, stoning people in the street for showing their ankles or anything. They're just being peaceful and letting people live their lives. And it's happy, healthy, and consensual. Who cares? If someone is transgender or not, God bless them. I hope they're happy. Like, I hope whatever they do is making them happy. But they need to be a happy, healthy, consensual adult. Because, like, when you force it on kids or when you try to indoctrinate them, well, now it's no longer consensual and they're not an adult. You're, and it's not healthy either. You're doing something to damage them for the rest of their lives. Um, people want to be whatever sexuality. Well, they're not fucking a dog or their, you know, incest is unhealthy. Necrophilia is unhealthy. All those kinds of things. But, like, you want to be gay. You want to be transgender. You think, you know, I may disagree. You may think God made a mistake. And I don't think he did. But, that like, you should have been a girl when you were a boy. You know what? As long as you're an adult. It's on you, you know? Like, I'm not going to stop you. You want to have whatever vaccine to help with COVID or not? You want to put broccoli in your innards or whatever to try to stop it? That's on you. We go back to being a happy, healthy, consensual adult. Uh, let's see. Lead poisoning is a problem. Children are exposed to tantric wine. Yeah, the whole, like, you lose testosterone because of... See, I mostly heard that about microplastics, not lead. But I wouldn't doubt that if it was the same kind of deal. Oh, lovely. Alzheimer's and dementia. <sighs> Have we gotten depressing enough yet? I hope so. <laughs> but um, that's the point I was trying to make when it comes to like... That's the point. Uh, I think that's an argument that would lead nowhere, Max. If God didn't make a mistake that he played a cruel prank by making me attracted to men if it was supposed to be a test of faith. Right. Like... Did he play like that's unless he's cool with it and the Bible just X that out. I forgot I remember hearing somewhere that like there's nowhere that directly says that. I don't know, I don't know that perfectly, so I'm not gonna say it definitively or not. Like I mean you know you know me, like with like my first focus is to love people and to like help them and to just try to be a good influence on them and to help them wherever I can, right? So like that's why I never cared. Because my mindset, happy, healthy, consensual adult. Red, it strikes me you're not cutting your dick off in order to have sex with people. <laughs> and whatever you're doing is with consensual adults. So, who cares? <laughs> yeah. There's a certain... Yeah. We'd have to get more granular with specific examples and, like, the context around it and stuff. And, like, the culture of, like, you know, Israel at the time, the Rome and everything. But, yeah, I get, I get what you're talking about. But, um, what was I talking about before? Oh, this all comes back. This all comes back to boobs being on Twitch. Because it's more and more sexualization of children. And, ch and children are simply put, impressionable. So by pushing that kind of shit on children, 
By pushing that kind of shit on children, it's introduced them more and more to these concepts. They'll say they're whatever set gender or sex whatever if people praise them for it. That's why it's manipulative and evil, when really they should just be kids living their best lives. You know, what was it when we were playing Minecraft Mondays? I forget who said it, but they said the term heteronormative. And I was like, what a dumb concept. Because, like, yes. Ghost, we've been talking politics for three hours! <laughs> But, um, but like the idea that a nation should not be heteronormative by default, which I've never understood why that shouldn't be the case. That's how you make more people. The government is incentivized to make more people. Now, if you want to be whatever gender, God bless you, happy, healthy, consensual adult. But like that, that shouldn't be the case is makes no sense to me with the sexualization of children because of Twitch's TOS. That's what we're talking about. Ghost. Um, it's just introducing kids to more and more of that stuff, making them, like, making them sex addicted, making them just not allowing them to be kids in general. Now, if you want to make Twitch, yeah, like you said, 18 plus fucking, like, make that shit marked, then, yeah, that is the best way to do it. But kids ultimately lie. It happens. Everyone's done it. Everyone's gone into a site. Where they, it's like you need to be 18 plus and you weren't 18 plus. Like, there's no way for them to track unless they start doing IDs, which has all sorts of information security issues and like freedom or whatever that has like. Da -da 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 -da. But, um, it doesn't mean it should be out in the open either. That's why I'm again it. I don't like it. I look, I'm fine making fun of it, but like, I'm again it in general. It, there should be better barriers, and like all things in life, as Professor Oak says, there's a time and place for that. And I don't think it's on Twitch. I really don't think it's on Twitch. So yeah, it goes. Okay, so as a reminder, we we went on my entire philosophy and chat's entire philosophy on, let's see if we get this right. The election, transgender, vaccines, boobs on Twitch, public nudity, ethics and morals. Should, uh, ethics and morals on whether like an entire country should be locked into a group religion or to have like a centralized system of beliefs. Um... 15 minute cities, population control, uh, what's, uh, envi let's see, environmental and economic control, use of different resources, uh, lead, microplastics, hydrogen cars, cancer being cured. Um, what other subjects did we touch? Oh, only fans culture <laughs> because jail became a CEO and a whore, lead in the soil. <laughs> I say microplastics and lead. Um, the idea of the petrol dollar control when it comes to war, like uh, crooked capitalism as opposed to just controlled by the government, information control, sort like, uh, who do you want to call it? Censorship. Um, did I miss any subjects? Jail wants me to be on a volleyball team, and I'm going to have the cutest ass. Um, damn right, it's true. I know you weren't talking to me. Um, was someone keeping count? Did we get everything? Am I banned? Hydrogen power cars! <laughs> I think I think I broke like 23 different subjects all in once and a half of the reason I'm having this conversation is because if I get banned for having this conversation which basically boils down to having it be happy healthy consensual adults <laughs> and try to let kids be kids and try to like not have a government that endlessly lies to you or shuts down different technological advancements in the name of power a seven year contract for several 1.4 million take that shit my boy like I said, just get a good, just get a big cut of it up front in case they cancel your contract and make sure you still get a lawyer to check over that. But otherwise, fuck yeah, go for it. Fucking bit life, fucking OnlyFans culture. I think we hit 20 to 30 separate subjects all in a short amount of time because if I get banned for talking about this shit among happy, healthy, consensual adults, but people can go out there with their tits out, fuck that. <laughs> Anyways, this is Metroid Dread. I really love this game, and I've only been playing it for two hours. Let's fucking go. I think we nailed everything. I think we got it. Do any other any other thoughts that we need to finish? Any other any other like uh, loose strings? Uploading data. I think we got everything. ME stands for Expert Planetary Multiform Mobile Identifier. Cool. It can procedurally modify and enhance its own capability. That's horrific. Its ability to configure.
figure itself to fit into narrow spaces is a standard feature. And, and it's any badass. Any encounter will likely be so as it proceeds. Let's see. But the most important question is, when are we going to get flying cars like in Back to the Future? When will that happen? Well, you have to... How do you establish flying roads? They have that for planes, but, like, how do you do that for cars? God, if, like, if you release flying cars right now, it would be crashes all day. Re like, even if everyone's a perfect driver, just people going, in, going like, as the crow flies to all their different locations, it'd be crashes everywhere. You'd still need to effectively establish roads, a la Coruscant in, uh, Star Wars Episode 2. Like, zero accidents worldwide for 10 years straight. Oh, well, that's impossible. You can't quite ask that. But you could say 0.1% or less than 1%. So, I'm other words, Californians are not going to get their flying cars in. Got it. That's because California sucks. I'm sorry, hold on. Uh, where's the button? There it is. That's because California sucks. There you go, good enough. <laughs> so there, I did it. <laughs> We're worth more <laughs> We're worth more than your ass, Max. Yeah, and your backwards ass only cleaning up fucking shit on the streets because China's coming to visit. Fucking, like, burn down your forest every year because of poor management. Yeah, literally, Elon Musk, the guy that everyone in California should have been for because of electric cars had to leave because of your shitty ass policies. Uh huh. I'm biased. Everyone knows this. <laughs> Uh, I don't, uh, Ghost, I gotta be honest, we're just kind of being shitters right now. Welcome to, like, every one of my Friday streams. We just start talking about weird shit, and I'm all for it. Let's see, uh, we're worth more than your, we're worth more than, yeah, you're welcome for your food. <laughs> I will ask it, and I am. <laughs> Wait, hold on, was that in regards to getting the 0.1% no car crashes, or take away my, take my genetically modified carrots? <laughs> Like, fuck, you eat the microplastics, live in the pod, and eat the bugs, you whore. <laughs> uh, did we nail all the political subjects that are going to get us all banned from, like, Twitter and Twitch? Did we, did we, did we nail everything? I feel like, I, I feel like we nailed everything. Like, it, it, any, any subject, any subjects that were left untouched that we need to talk about. Biden has dementia. Okay, uh, did, anything else, anything else. And he's a corrupt piece of shit. Okay, anything else? I think we're good? High five? I could do a little exotic dancing. Except my camera fucking broke! <laughs> exotic dancing. Did you want to cover that? Twerking? It's just it's just the same thing as having your tits out. Like, Also, okay. Here's my hot take of the day. Twerking is so stupid because it shows no class or grace or elegance or anything else. It's not sexy. You might as well just open up your butthole in front of people. Like... Fuck that. Twerking is not classy. I'm I'm getting it. You wanna know you want you wanna know I'm done <laughs> Damn it. Oh damn it. Threw me off my group right off the fuck. I don't think it can. I have not witnessed it be sexy once. Don't judge me, you are. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna compare. I'm gonna compare for me personally, right? Okay. I'm gonna take a woman. Imagine she's perfect. Okay, Sam is here, right? Whatever, right? Would you rather see her twerk or perform some kind of, like, waltz or ballet or some kind of flowing classical dance? Which would you rather see? Which would which would be sexier? Twerk over the corpses. <laughs> I'd rather see... Heck, um, what is the dance... What is the dance called that uh, Sombra does in Overwatch? It's not tap dancing, but like how you kind of like shuffle your hips like back and forth and you're like doing those like quick little steps kind of a thing. That, that shows so much more skill and coordination than fucking twerking. Twerking is the lowest common denominator. It's, you just open your butthole to people. Like, it fuck that. You are faced with overwhelming power. Accept your helplessness. What the fuck? Wait, hold on. I think I just missed something. Adam, you asshole! I think so. I don't think so. Accept your helplessness. Fuck you!
However, I see no other way to accomplish your goal. These existential threats cannot be sanctioned. I'm more bothered that he told me to accept my helplessness. Fucking asshole. Like, pole dancing, I think, takes a lot of skill and it does have to be sexual, but potato. But okay, pole dancing? I will take, because that's gymnastics. I will take pole dancing as being way more sexy over twerking in a heartbeat. Like that, I will 100% agree with. Like, yeah, pole dancing is, can be extremely sexy because of the skill and the graces it, it gives. Same as pole dancing is my answer. Well, look, I mean, look. There's a reason Samus is one of the primary waifu pillows we have, all right? Like, if we're talking best girls, like in any media, I have a very hard time not putting Samus as number one, let's just be honest. Like, hot night. <laughs> just in general, just as a general, as a general qualifying statement, hot damn. Touch me. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. I'm gonna follow him. Well, fuck. Oh, and I died because <laughs> my foot touched the robot. <laughs> I fucking died. <laughs> That was actually something I was talking to you, my wife, about. That, like, um... Okay, so, it is winter. Which means, welcome back to the land of thermals. And... I told Megan this in the past. And she kind of, like, poked fun at me for it. That I think a girl wearing thermals is sexy as fuck. And it's for the same reason a girl in, like, a tight fit... Oh... <gasps> That is such a dick move! That is such a dick move! Fuck you, robot! You little piece of shit! Oh my goodness, that is such a dick move! That is your entire purpose! That is the only reason you exist, is just to do that shit! Fuck you! But, um... What was I saying? Yeah, that, uh, thermals, tight turtlenecks, those kind of things. I think they're sexy as fuck. And it's like, she didn't really understand the concept of that. And it's like, she kind of said, like, I don't think you could explain that to me if you wanted to. And I was like, I actually can. It's really simple. Um, you don't need to show skin. You do not need to show skin to be sexy. A lot of it can come down to your fit, like, your, just your general stature, form, whatever you want to call it, right? Your general figure. That's what I was looking for. General figure, general grace, those kinds of things. Heck, it's the reason that, like... So many people think Catwoman is so hot. Not necessarily because she shows her tits, but because her form, her figure. Same thing with Zero Suit Samus. If you're like, shit. Same thing with Zero Suit Samus. Like, you just said it. It's like, oh, Zero Suit Samus pole dancing. It's like, well, yeah, it would be sexy. Then she doesn't need to show skin to do it. But no, if we're talking, if we're comparing like pole dancing, to uh to like waltzing or seriously what can someone google that for me what is what is the kind of dancing that sombra does in overwatch because i'll be honest i'm always very impressed when i see people like going fucking hard on that you know what i mean like it's impressive there's there's a lot of skill going on okay. i don't know what it's called though but ow 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 which, what's the difference between pole dancing and ballroom dancing? Oh, I was gonna say, Max, if you didn't know. It's, I feel like there's a pun here that I'm missing. But no, if we're compare, like, if you wanna compare which is sexier, ballroom dancing to, uh, ballroom dancing to pole dancing, I would say that is a lot more nice. I would say that's a lot more of an equivalent. Because, you know, what's my criteria? You need to have grace, you need to have poise, you need to, and you need to display some form of skill. That it, yeah. Po yeah, pole dancing exhibits that. Even if it's almost entirely used in like a stripper kind of mentality. 
in a, like a stripper kind of mentality, it still shows a lot of skill and like that is very attractive. So yes, I'll, I will give you that one. But twerking on the other hand does not do that. Fucking robot piece of shit. Fucking bitch. Oh shit. Oh fuck. <laughs> I didn't actually want to go up. I didn't actually want to go up. I didn't. I didn't want to. I didn't want to go up. I didn't want to go up. I didn't want. I. What if I just drop? <gasps> I have to start moving to recharge it. Ah. <sighs> Um, fine, I'm going to Google it because you guys aren't Googling it. Okay. What is the type of dancing Sombra does in Overwatch? What is it called? Is an EDM dance called Shuffle? Is it really just called Shuffling? Is it really just called Shuffling? Actually, correct source. Hold on. Is it really Hold on. Okay, it is a shuffling. I would call shuffling as a amalgamation or an evolution of tap dancing, personally, but... Hell yeah, house music, let's go! <laughs> but, um... Yeah, if you want to have a discussion about, like, what's better, pole dancing or ballroom dancing, that is where I think it really comes down to, uh... Where am I trying to go? That is where I think it comes down more to personal preference because both can definitely have their, uh, both definitely have their style and their grace and their, like, skill level. So, to me, I, so to me, I put those as an equivalent, you know what I mean? Where the fuck am I trying to go? I'm not entirely sure. That's not a good sign. I should genuinely, I should, in general, fuck you. I should know where I'm going. Well, yeah. That's why when girls can pull it off, it's so amazing. What always gets me is in movies like North and South and stuff, where they're like, yes, let's go dancing, and somehow everyone knows the song and everyone knows the steps. Like, I always watch that, I'm just like, how? How, how, how do all, how, there's no possible way everyone was Kung Fu fighting. Like, how, how does everyone know the dance? Like, I, yeah, I'd be so insanely nervous. I'd be fucking up like you wouldn't believe. I need four? Ass! Fuck! Damn it. I need to, I need to get Uh, that's something, I guess. Oh, I can't dance either. I I cannot. I am I'm uncoordinated as fuck. So like, oh, so I I will I will definitely join you in with that play. Having that as a problem. Yep. I I am I I can't dance. To save my life. And not even like casually. I just I just can't at all. Oh shit. But, um, to go back to what you were saying, Ghost, yeah, a lot of, I think, beauty when it comes to, uh, a lot of beauty when it comes down to, like, the turtlenecks and, like, the thermals and stuff, it is just figure, and in poise, and grace, and I think it's hot, and anyways, we, uh, do you, does everyone appreciate how, just like all things, we start talking about serious, like, political shit, and then it just evolves into, let me tell you how I think girls are sexy, and how femininity is wonderful. <laughs> May I like, worry about the male gaze and be wild just sitting here like I like girls because I think girls are pretty and that should be celebrated. Damn it. 
uh, haha, the game gave me a choice of who to get to sing the national anthem for a game. Choices were Fergie, your character, the army choir, or a high school choir. Oh, the army choir is gonna kick ass. Wait a second, why are you choosing who gets to sing the national anthem? <laughs> Hold on a second, let's talk about that. Why are you choosing who gets to sing the national anthem? <laughs> Now, also not gonna lie, I'm 100% waiting for either Panda or Spook to show up here half the back end of this conversation and for them to just stab me on the spot. Like, they're gonna kill me. I'm gonna be like, listen, we were talking about politics earlier. Isn't this preferable? And they're like, no, no, it isn't, Max. <laughs> Yo, get, like, uh, fucking get your ADHD poop in a group and quit being such an idiot. <laughs> they're like, I'm sorry. Spook, no! <laughs> Yeah, what? He said, I don't know. It's like, you, sh you should know. I'll be like, Spook, please don't hurt me. And she'll, she'll just stab the shit out of me. Actually, no. Spook will make fun of me. Panda will stab the shit out of me. Like, that will 100% happen. Sure, let's travel. How am I traveling? Oh, I hit the wrong button. I was going to say, like, how, how, how... There's my ship. There's my goal. Let 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 us let us go. I do recommend reading up on the effects of lead fuel has had those most of the hole in the ozone, but no one really talks about it. Wait, where the hole in the ozone's calling causing people to get Alzheimer's? Once again, another kick-ass desktop background going on here. This is great. Why are all loading screens kick-ass desktop backgrounds at minimum? Why did you get to choose who sung the national anthem? Wait, oh, is this your is this your 30, 30 year sex worker now CEO character? <laughs> Cause that makes sense. And we'll be in another twenty Wait, it'll be in another 20, 30 years open, or it'll be gone in another 20, 30 years. Also, I love the zoom out. Zoom out looks good. Oh, that's good. Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> just I I was not having any of that. I just went no, just no. <laughs> That's good, I think. Oh uh, ah uh, ah uh, boo speed boost, speed boost boo. Have I said that speed? I if I had to choose which ability in Metro games is my least favorite, it's probably the speed boost. Especially because it gets all finicky and so many times you have to like duh, 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 and then like you sprint and then you have to like stop at one spot and go wah like that. Like I, I don't like speed boost as like an ability. There's also a heat release so. Oh. So it'll cause global warming. That's okay. Most global warming is such bullshit. Because once again, it's not used to actually save the planet, it's used to control and manipulate people. We're supposed to not be talking about politics anymore, right? <laughs> Damn it, you know my weakness. I love talking about this shit. But now every, any like, we were losing atmosphere because of it was actually slowing down the heat issue. But no, like the, the climate of the planet goes between hots and colds over time. But that doesn't mean we shouldn't take no effort to save the environment, of course. Just that it's not the It's firing Sonic the Hedgehog! Where the fuck are you getting Sonic the They just explode! You cannot possibly have that many Sonic the Hedgehog Oh Where are you getting these? Oh fuck. Listen, that's air. Oh, how much you wanna bet? Fuck. Fuck. Asshole. How much you wanna bet those little blue things are gonna be the uh, tether beam? Above it? That head check out, oh, yeah. Oh, fuck. 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 
You have to stop talking about politics or else either ghost and or <laughs> ghost and or the spirit of spooky a panda will come and kick my ass. And my wife already beat me this morning, so I can't like I, I can't I can't go through another one, Chief. I gotta be honest with you. They're giving me a lot of freaking try shot things. Oh wait, it's it's turned on. Okay, Max, I need my nicotine break after that. <laughs> well, okay, is it better or worse than when I got you worked up about uh uh Final Fantasy VII? Was it was it better or worse? <laughs> And how you and Spook made me promise to play all Final Fantasy VII related things on stream. Also, you should make it clear that was a joke. Twitch doesn't joke about that. Which part? Oh, I'm sorry. In Minecraft. There, did I do it? I don't know what part I should say is a joke. We said a lot of shit. And a lot of it are things that I truly believe. <laughs> I don't know if they want to burn me at the stake. Domestic violence. Oh yeah, that was a joke. That that was an actual joke. That yep yep that was a joke. <laughs> that, that 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 one. Yep 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 that was a joke. <laughs> My wife does not beat me, although she's been having a really hard time sleeping. As she jokes, it's because of the men in her house. Between Arlo waking her up. Right, of course, of course. But like um, between Arlo waking us up because he wants to go to the bathroom, uh, the baby. The baby kicking Megan because it's a baby. And apparently, I'm really huggy when we go to sleep. And I just want to cuddle. And Megan doesn't like that. And apparently, I do that when I'm asleep. That, like, um. That I want to cuddle with her. And it wakes her up, so she's kind of mad at me. And it's one of those things of, like, it's not your fault. I know it's not your fault. But also, fuck you, Max. We, we've been trying that. Yeah, we've been trying different, like, pillows. Like, we've been trying different pillow positions and stuff. To... Oh, wait. <gasps> ball? How have they not given me the ball yet? How have they not given me the fucking ball? Yeah, that's what I did last night. I slept on the couch. I'm banning you for the mask. Yeah, I no like full, full, uh, full exposure. I I slept on the couch last night, and I asked like, hey, were you able to get some better sleep? And she's like, yes, I actually was. I'm like, okay, good, good. You know, if we need to, I will continue to sleep on the couch. Just you know, as we try to get this work out. I can't use the guest room. The guest room is where we have the uh, all of our Christmas presents. It's also the craft room. And the other guest room that we had, the other guest room that we had, uh, there we go. The other guest room we have is, uh, got turned into the nursery. So yeah, we don't, we do not have an active spare guest room, but that's okay because shit. Fuck! Yeah, we, we just need to clean, we just need to clean that room up. And like, it, it was just us two. I don't mind sleeping on the couch. Our couch is like, soups comfy. Wait, hold on. Also, JL, you said Matt Rife. Who's Matt Rife? Ours is really nice. Cause it's one of those couches that's like, um, that it, it's one of those couches that are like, uh, they're super deep. You know what I mean? So that like, um, you like melt into the back of it. Shit. You melt into the back of it, which makes it a little hard, as my dad says, to get out of it. But I, I love it. Uh, shit. These Sonic the Hedgehog motherfuckers are fucking me up. Yeah, there you go. Shortcuts. Anywho, yeah, gotta take my electric cigarette break. Another thing that's big bad that's big bad media now because tobacco's the new target. Anyway, enjoy a few and overwhelm <laughs> over that while I have K. Eh, same boat as cigarettes, honestly, that's whatever. But cigarette okay, vapes don't make you look as cool as cigarettes do, so that's why I'm gonna get it. 
Air mattresses. We do have air mattresses, yep. But, uh, Ghost, Ghost, I don't know if you're still in the room. Hi, buddy. How's it going? How's it going? Like, um, I never asked you how your, how your day and or week has been. If you're not here, that's fine. I just, I, I would like to say hi. Ah! Ah, 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 ah. Holy shit, it's got speed boost. That bitch has speed boost. Yeah, I, I, I don't know if Ghost is still here or not, or if we drove him nuts, but how's it going, man? Shit. Oh, 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 oh. Shit. <laughs> he waited for me! He waited! He was like, you gotta do it. Okay, you're dead. <laughs> Damn. Oh, that's fine. We should focus back on the Metroid, shouldn't we? You have been offered five million and fifty thousand by a mafia associate from Cincinnati to ensure that your team loses an important upcoming game against the Pittsburgh Nethers. What will you do? Look the other way, turn it down, and report him if you do it. Um oh five million, five million. Mm, once again, I Yo, I consider myself chaotic good. I consider myself chaotic good. Uh we are not Oh fuck! Fuck my life. Death. Um, I consider myself chaotic good. We're not breaking the rules in order to, um, do any particular good or help any particular people. I don't think we're in debt that I need the $5 million for anything. So I'm going to say no and report him. I'm going to, I'm going to say no and report him. I'm, that's right. My volleyball team is going to pick a fight with the fucking mafia. Tell the mafia to suck nar. Now, if you said the Yakuza... If you said it was the Yakuza, well, that's more fun. Oh, shit. We could have a conversation about the Yakuza. But the... Uh, uh, okay, okay, okay. Is it... No, it's not one of those... Uh, we could go down there. Wait, no, wide beam box. That's already been used. He scratched your mouth? That's so specific. Why is he scratch my mouth? The fuck you doing? He scratched my mouth? What an asshole. What an asshole. He scratched my mouth. Why the fuck did you just... Why the fuck did you just get to scratch my mouth? What does scratch your mouth mean? Like, is there like a big ugly gash in front of it? Also, he attacked! Sue his ass! Hunt him down! <laughs> Round him up! Round up the mafia! Yeah, sure, they make the they make the trains run on time, but I ain't gonna... They scratched up my pretty face! Well, I don't know where I'm going, so we're about to find out. Shit. Max, why didn't you go through that open door? We physically can't. You can outrun me. Keep that in mind. Keep that in mind. Okay. Okay, where are we trying to go? We can't leave through there. So I think the only route is to go back around. Okay. <laughs> you hear him running with this Mr. Krabs ass? Like, <laughs> yeah, go. Yes, let's head downwards now that we have our new toy. I've noticed that this game has, uh, what's the phrase I'm looking for? Proclivity. Ow. To. They'll have you go through an area with no tools. Hmm. They'll have you go through an area with no tools. Ah. 
And then they'll, once you find the tool, they'll find a way to poop you back at the beginning area. So that way you can, uh, so that way you can refuel and then go through the area again. And they kind of do that a few times, which I think is interesting. So far though, I will say, shit. It is very well designed in that regard. You know what I mean? Like the environments are definitely very well thought out. So there's a sure there's a part of me here that's like, ah, like fucking make me go through the same area twice. But it also is really good because look at this like look at this mobility that I have. This sudden confidence that I have in my movement. What is that thing? What is that thing? something to do with that. Oh god, I just had a flashback. Did I ever tell you guys about Axiom Verge? Uh, if, if I have someone stop me before I get too far. Uh, Axiom Verge was basically this, this game that it's on Steam. I think they made the second one too. And it is a Metroidvania. The idea of it is that like, I don't know, I don't remember the story, it's not important. Some kind of AI that uses flesh a la Shodan from System Shock. Um, I don't know where to go. Hmm. Hold on, hold on, hold on. There's that one. But like, something there. All right, I guess we're I guess we're heading back. Okay. But um, some kind of evil AI bullshittery. It doesn't matter. And you're ah oh, damn it! I have to go through all this. Fuck it, duck. You are some podunk, whatever. Just kidding. You're the chosen one that fights those things. If I remember correctly, one of the abil and like the reason I don't like that game is because it's another example of a game that is so far up its own ass about how it very clearly thinks it's very clever. It has an overly complex system that's overly complex for no other reason than it has an, it has an overly complex system that is overly complex for no other reason than for, for complexity's sake. It doesn't tell you anything and then it sits there smug when you can't figure it out. Like. That is the vibe the game gives. It not only does the game not care about you, it is actively trying to subvert you. And like, you didn't solve a puzzle because we didn't tell you about it. You're dumb. We're so smart. Like, it, it, the game is the equivalent of that kid in elementary school who would, um, who would say, hey, do you want to play a video game? Does not teach... And you're like, I haven't played this game before. Sure, I'll play it. You and you, you know, you have no experience with this game. I want to make that clear. And then they whoop your ass in it, and then they gloat about how they're so much better than you because they've played the game for hours and have already figured it out, and you haven't. And that makes you smarter. It is the video game equivalent of that. And if I recall correctly, one of the abilities the game had that was extra frustrating. Where the fuck do I go? One of the abilities that the game had that was just insanely, insanely frustrating was there's an ability, there's an ability that, I might be thinking of a different game, but like the same, every, all the bullshit I just talked applies similarly if I get it wrong. Um, I seriously don't know where to go. Huh. Apologize for yawning. 
as I try to. Nope. This isn't farmed yet. Um. It's gotta be something with that. It's gotta be something with. They, oh, I mean, well, they did take me through a cutscene, so there's got to be something going on over there. But, um, it was basically an ability that gave you a very, sh and I mean this very short range. It gave you a very short range teleport. And the idea was that if there was, let's say, let's, let's make up, oh wait, shit. Oh, motherfucker. You know, let's make up a scenario. Let's say there there's like an empty space, one Minecraft block of a wall, and then more empty space, right? The idea was that you could use that to teleport around. But here's the issue. Now you never know what you could or couldn't teleport through. Everything was two to three blocks thick, and a lot of the places they wanted you to use that ability was, um, they were hidden, essentially. And I'm looking at this environment right now, and I'm sitting there like, oh god, there's a lot of spaces that they introduced that kind of ability. I would fucking hate it, because it is the snootiest ass ability. Oh, shit. Um. Hang on. Uh. Sure, I can. Uh, real quick, sorry, so I just got a text, it was actually from 30 minutes ago, um, I need to go do something really quick, this might be like a 20-30 minute break or so, I just realized I took away my head camera, so now you can't see my emotions, and, um, yeah, we need to go on break for a bit, hopefully by then, I didn't scare off Ghost, and Red will be back, but, uh, yeah, let's, uh, I'm gonna write a message, and we'll be back in just a bit, in a bit, There we go. All right, we will be right back. So, bloop.
<sighs> I'm back. I oh god, I just drove across town, ran around, got came back, got the dogs let me out. Oh god. Leave it unintended. I was trying, man. First off, shout out to my aunt. Fuck is my charging cord. Uh, secondly, I would like to give a shout out and an overall thank you to everyone who is watching yeah, and stuck around for that long ass break. Just thank you all so much for watching. I recognize. <sighs> there we go. I recognize that the first half of the stream was kind of rough on a lot of people. Probably we talked about a lot of very sensitive topics. A lot of philosophy, and I think the important thing to remember is all about people sharing their interests, ideas, philosophy, so on and so forth, in a space that they understand they're not going to be persecuted for it, and that we just like to talk about these things. Not because we're trying to hate or insult anyone, but because we love sharing ideas. <sighs> I think I scared away ghosts for that. He'll never forgive me. But it's okay. Are we back? Are we all good? Can you hear me? Sound there? But yeah, I would just like to just like to say thanks to everyone so much for watching. I hope everyone's enjoying our more crazy and weird Friday streams. Ha! <sighs> Beam block. Now if I go back there. Okay. So, as a reminder, we are playing Metroid Dread. We just recently got a few new tools. Which are very useful and good, but the problem is now that we are... Uh, I don't actually know where to go. To be completely honest with you, I don't actually know where to go. I'm kind of stuck right now. Because I think the idea is supposed to be that we go and... Quit. I was like, son of a. Okay. I don't actually know where to go next, to be completely honest. Like, I can't go through there. That, uh, same thing. We already pushed that back and got the shortcut. We already got there and got that shortcut. So I'm kind of half wondering should we just leave? If I go back to. If I go back here. What will this give me? Um, shortcut. Can't do anything with that yet. Can't do anything with that yet. Can't do anything with that yet. Uh, that doesn't look like it's that much. There are a bunch of wide beam doors back there. In the central unit. You know what? I think that's actually it. I think they actually just want us to head back into a previous area, to be completely honest. Which, I was kind of hoping for the, uh... Personally, I was kind of hoping for... Oh, oh my goodness. Fuck. I have to... I was kind of hoping for the, uh, Samus Returns philosophy that they'll never put you into an area that you can't, uh... Or, what am I trying to say? That each area that you're in is self-contained to the point where, uh... Yeah. There you go. Each area is self-contained. What the fuck? Why didn't you, why didn't you do the attack? He's just ass. Yeah, okay, good on. I'm gonna get schmuckled. Yep. Fuck my life. That's what I get for trying to move fast. But, um. Yeah, I was kind of hoping that it was gonna be 
like uh, Samus Returns, where each area is isolated, essentially. That's good enough. Oh, that's right. I was going to check something. Nope. Okay, good, good. I, when I was driving, I had kind of like the realization of what if the only way to move through some of these spaces was to do essentially what I just did, like that charging spin. It is, it is separate, so we're good there. This way because why why else why else would they have a path that looks like it can bring me back there if I'm not supposed to go back here? My coffee has gone well cold and it tastes awful, but you know what I'm still gonna drink it. Because that's what I do. By the way, Jail, I don't know if you're still there. How's your Mafia going? If you are still there. If not, it's all good. Alright, Kataris. Alright, so where's our going, Kataris? Right there. Should be pretty quick and easy to get to it, too. God, I love the mobility. You know what I mean? Like... Bitch. I'm out. Max, do you know where you're going? Nope, but this game is so well designed that you kind of don't really need to know where you're going. Oh, come on, I hit it. This does remind me, though. So, okay, so I, I think I told you guys this before. I've been uh, replaying Lies of P, which, simply put, is not something that I normally do. Just because I've already beaten the game. So, like, playing it again right afterwards is kind of like, whoa. Maximus really liked this game. But the reason I did it was because um, I wanted to try... Oh, I wanted to try a full alchemist build. Oh shit! <laughs> also, I love that this is essentially a big old reference to, uh... I love that this is essentially a big old reference to Mother Brain. I really mean that, like, it's so good. Because essentially, besides the platforms here being much more reasonable, this, it, that, what we just did right there is a mother brain fight. But the big hyper, like, why the eyeball on the end of it? It's so creepy. Well, Max, because it's mother brain. It's still weird. All right, I'm going to get my gun. I'm gonna get my gun that looks suspiciously like the Emmys. Oh. I fucked it up. Fuck him up. Let's go. Now, this is gonna be tricky. Alright, this is gonna be tricky because we need a wide open space, essentially. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, we need a wide open space to play ball with, yeah. There we go. Okay. Now I'm going to leave because I need space to charge this bitch up. And he ain't going to give me that space for shit. There he is. There he is. Bitch. 
Booyah. I don't know what this is gonna give me, but let's find out, folks. Oh, is this the Electro Shield? <gasps> Finally! Morph Ball! Uh, when standing next to an air turn, your ground press wheel and move towards the tunnel with a long stretch from from engine. This also works on ground and allegedly into. <gasps> Yes. Oh, okay. Hold on. See how smooth it is. Very smooth. Oh my goodness. So much freedom and movement now. We can we can do whatever we want. We can do whatever we want now. Look at this shit. Mine now. All right. Um, I think this will be entering another zone. Oh, I'm sure. Uh, notably though, I do not have bombs yet. Oh, that was cool. Yeah, I do not have bombs yet. So don't want everyone to be running around thinking we're immortal, cause, or we can do whatever we want. That is not necessarily the case, but fuck yeah, more fall. They're like, you just left one fight, you're ready to get into another one? I'm like, yeah. Uh, is this place on fire? <gasps> it's not, I'm a genius. Uh, this one? Hold on. Oh! What is this thing? Oh, it's a teleporter. Uh, no. I'm good, but I appreciate that being there. Fuck yes. Fuck yeah. I will say the, uh, Having to go back to previous areas like that is very much reminiscent of like how, oh shit. Is very reminiscent of how the other Metro games work. So even if I complain about it and I'm like, I don't like it, it's like, well, no, that is how Metro games normally work. It was mostly, uh, I mean, Zero Mission did it, but Samus Returns, I would say is the best example. Actually, uh, other M as well. As much as we don't like giving that game credit. Other M was also a big example of... I think we can head back. That way, actually. Uh, yeah, there's no inherent advantage to going up. But, um... Yeah, th those games were both very good at, uh... Those games were both very good, I would say, at uh, keeping you in whatever localized area you need to be in. You know what I mean? That's like, as opposed to Super Metroid's design philosophy, which is much more like, fuck it, just everywhere is an option at all times. I don't know what that one is, but that one is close for the power beam, power beam, charge beam, but that's lava. Um, I imagine they they kind of want me to go back now, but oh, open thermal trap door. That might be something useful. So, well, I guess I'll think of this now. Charge beam door. I'm not immediately seeing anything. Oh wait, there's that. Oh wait, we already used that one. Honestly, I'm not immediately seeing anything else. Like, nah, that that would have sent us back to the beginning. Honestly, I feel like we can. <gasps> I forgot to do something. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'll be right back. I'll be right back. Right back. Like, like less than a minute.
I think Arlo can sense that my ADHD is going off the fucking wall right now. Hold on. Oh. Well, that's no fun. They're just energy boosts. I grab my two amiibos. If uh, if anyone's curious what they are, it's the. Uh, huh. If anyone's curious what they are, I have the Samus and Zero Suit Samus ones from uh, Super Smash Bros. I was hoping it would do something cool. I don't want to cheat and do that. That was fun. <sighs> okay, so I think. We can now head back here and just ask ourselves, what can we get? We can get that right there. All right, hold on. Uh, okay, go. Son of a bitch. Shit. All right. Um. Yeah, we. Oh, oh, we can get that too. Yeah, I was not gonna lie. I was kind of hoping for like, I don't know, an ultimate skin or something. You know, like I didn't want anything that would like break the game. Oh. Shh. tell if the way that that thing glue meant that it was invincible or if oh yeah i can't tell if the way it glue meant um that it was invincible to that shit or if it um was like resistant you know what i mean not entirely sure. Oh, sh Thank you. But I would like to try that again. Because maybe... Ah, I want to be cool about it. As we know, that is half my goal for most things, is not so much to be practical about it, but to be cool. Oh, fuck. Fuck. There we go. Alright. Uh, let's give this one another try. Oh! Wow! And only auto saves it when they're Emmy stations. Son of a bitch. Well, I think that one is. I think that one is. Not negotiable. So we'll have to. I'll leave it alone just for sake of making it so it's easy. Oh, wait. Just for sake of making sure it's easier to track on the map. But I get the distinct impression that we are shit out of luck. Uh, all those devices are used, so we can probably just go up and around that way. Like so. Alright, and now we can get back and hope that one door was actually... Important. Also up here, but I 
Ah, yep. See, I, I, I can't, I can't help with that one. But at least now it's revealed. I'm not gonna lie though, this is making me want to play. Uh, I think I, I told you guys called. Uh, I think I told you guys about a game called. Uh, what was it? A robot named Fight. Before. It's basically a uh, roguelike, but based on Super Metroid. I never got that far in it. Should I should give that another try. Mostly because like, it very much seemed a game that wanted to kill you multiple times because every death built on your like possibilities, which is how all roguelikes go. But there's definitely like gradients of some roguelikes. Some roguelikes are more focused on killing you over and over again as opposed to like letting you succeed the first time like It is my personal belief. You should theoretically be able to win a roguelike the first time through. You should be able to it might be difficult But you sh it should be a possibility in that game. It definitely did not feel like a possibility I've been on the phone since right when you left sorry if you talked to me almost done. That's all good mate. I more feel bad that I had a big old political rant, and I need to remember that not everyone is interested in that. Now let's hit the save. Ha! Took an e save break, and you had to leave to go do the dose. Holy shit! Oh wait, hold on. I didn't actually look to see what that was. That might be something too. Shit, I should. I'm already. Oh, too late. No, because it's the one way. Fuck. You know what? It's fine. It's fine. Okay. I know where I'm going now. I know where I'm going. There we go. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. All that backtracking for it to just be a fucking lava zone. Son of a bitch. <sighs> Fuck. Fuck. I may need to go back to the first area? Like. There's that. Lava. There's that, but that's. Wait, we already got that one. Yeah, acquired. Okay. Um. There's that thing. Can't do that. There's a secret there, but I don't know where it is. Yeah. 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 That could be something. But that, that's an energy part. That's not. That's probably something. Power beam door. Ah, shit. That's totally. That's totally something, too. I don't know. I mean, they're showing me that there's like a lot of spots of secrets that I really appreciate, but I can't tell if they're, yeah, like I can't do that. And I likely won't be able to do this. I mean, there is the red teleporter and they did just give me the red teleporter. That might honestly be it. Fuck, I don't know where else to go. I can't do that one. I guess we're heading back again. Shit. They've just, they've put me in a situation where I don't quite know what my next full on objective is. I mean, I see that central unit there, but like, I need the speed boost to get through that spot. So, it doesn't matter. Like, yeah. Oh, fuck. I did it again. I keep doing that. I keep forgetting that it's a one way. So now I'm gonna lose how much of my fucking life and waste everyone's time again because I keep instinctively going that way. Now I gotta go pick a fight with this asshole. Mm. 
A little annoying. A little annoying. Not gonna lie. A little a, a, a tad. <sighs> At least they put me here. So he's gonna walk forward. He's gonna walk forward. Once I get past him, I can get through this area. Cause I can do that. Yeah, except he just he moves like a madman. That's all I want to do, so I can do that. Okay. Might as well hit this up because it's an energy recharge. Um, can't go that way, can't go that way. Okay, so Max, what's your goal right now? Um, uh, my goal is basically to get back to the red teleporter. Yeah. Okay, hold on, I just want to check this real quick. I don't think I have anything for that block. That's a speed boost, and so the speed boost. But I can't get through it. Uh, unless there's a way to do it. But I don't want to Google it. Fuck. Okay, so if I can. Ooh, nice. What's the occasion? Like, why, why are they giving it to you for free? That's very kind of them. Okay. Where exactly am I trying to get to? Okay, so if I run down there and I run all the way over there, I can get to the red teleporter. Red teleporter will take me down there and put me off right there, which will get me to an energy part and maybe something to do with these doors. And if it's not something to do with those doors, maybe something with this door. I think that's it. I think though I'm banking on I think that's it. I'm banking on those two doors. Oh. Well, it's not the happiest occasion, but she's doing a very kind deed out of the deal, which is nice. See, I had a family member bring up that I needed a and said just, just transfer the registration, I can help you. Just transfer the registration, I can have it. Yeah, that is very kind. You better be baking that lady also. Oh. Uh, yep, take it, take it. I should have had more faith in that uh, they gave me an ability and right nearby they gave me access to a transporter, so I should just use it. Again, the floating like I'm Dark Samus. Blah. There, got the end of my coffee. The coffee grounds are. Mwah.
What's going on? Hello, says no. You are not worthy of this. Hang on. I can't get up here, can I? Out of the spot, I was like, hang on. <laughs> At minimum, us trying to figure out this new area will potentially give us a lot of different like parts and stuff, which will be very nice. Okay, so we can do this. Nice. All right. And what does this get us? I'm just hardcore going off of the philosophy of if I just move fast enough through each area, maybe I'll get something useful. Up here, right back. It's all good. It's all good, man. I'm gonna take it for granted that's the super missile secret. This was it! Fuck yeah! Ooh. Why is the music going nuts all of a sudden? I feel like I should be more concerned! Well, would you look at that? I'm very concerned all of a sudden! It's qu- Ow! What the fuck? What the fuck? Okay. I was gonna say it's so Okay! <laughs> I was here, or oh, ah, I was here minding my own damn business. Just trying to figure, or oh, ah, oh, fucking. Max has decided to be disoriented and it's working. Fuck. Are we safe? I don't think we're actually safe. I, I don't think we're safe. <gasps> I mean, okay, I like the blue more, personally, but is that heat resist? <laughs> Fuck yeah. Reduces damage taken from enemy attacks and insulates damage from extreme heat. However, it does not prevent damage from extreme cold and lava. In addition, the various suit slightly increases the dash melee's damage. Nice. Fuck yeah! Y'all bitches thought you were safe up in here, motherfucker. You were wrong, told. Alright. Okay, I was gonna say, it's... It's... It, it, it's chunkin'. It's chunkin'. It's chunkin', but it doable. There you go. Alright, um... Can't do anything with that, so might as well just focus on making our way back. Oh, new area. Nice. Oh shit, no. I love God, I love it so much when different Metro games, like, I love it when different Metro games break the environment and it helps to form, like, new parts of the environment. It's always so good. There is only one spot of lava and it's all the way the fuck over there. I don't want to go all the way the fuck over there. What if I just go all the way the fuck over here? We'd have so much more to explore. And like I said, we're not 100% in this shit, so... 
Not gonna lie, in my own personal playthrough, I might. I might. I'm. I don't know. I've, I've never said run a Metroid game on stream, have I? Probably because I know I'm not very stupid. If I was ever gonna speedrun a Metroid game, it would basically involve, like, first, I would wanna beat the game again just at my own speed. And then we would immediately play it again. And, like, that's the point where I'd be like. That's the point of the adventure where we would be like, okay, yo, now that I know what I'm doing, go. It, it, I'd essentially do it like we did at Resident Evil 4. That would be like, alright, play it through once, alright, play through again, play through again, play through again, until we, like, really get it ingrained in. Now we can't go up there. That's okay. Cat, sorry, I'm used to having the bomb. But I feel like, oh god. If I was gonna, if I was gonna speed run another game, I'd be tempted to do. Uh, I don't know. I'm kind, I'd be kind of tempted to revisit the. Uh, to revisit the link to the past and link to the past Super Metroid over, like speed running. Oh, maybe not. I don't know. I don't know. I'm excited. But I think it also boils down to I was really feeling it with uh, Resident Evil 4. And uh, we have too many games that we need to play. And no known deadline of when we're actually going to play them. So maybe we shouldn't. Yeah, oh, we'd restart it. We'd restart it. Shit. It's closed up, so I can't see the counter. There's nothing wrong with that. But we probably won't do that just for sake of, like... Oh, come on. It's like one pixel off. There we go. We probably wouldn't do that, honestly. See that guy right there? Hmm. Uh, do you think they, they'll they give a bigger deal on FF7 Remake Integrate after Rebirth releases, or if it's just after the standard for the next five years? Uh, I'll be honest, I've kind of given up on, like, possibly getting a sale on those games, just to be completely honest with you. There. Nice. Yeah, I've completely given up on there, on there being, like, a sale on those games, because, I. Uh, I do want to play them, like, honest, but I, it, it hasn't been in the budget, and they're spendy, they're big old games, you know what I mean? But I would like to play them. We'll probably do... Okay, I, remind me, do I need to play the original Crisis Core again, or is it just Dirge of Cerberus that I need to play? Oh. You big motherfucker. What? Oh, shit! Oh, what's your name? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. The disrespect. The absolute disrespect of being like, I'm going to charge it without even looking at you and then go fuck yourself. Oh, I'm going to ruin your life, you bitch. Alright, you're going to, you're going to break through. You're going to break through soon. So I just need to. Yeah, I need to... Oh, shit. Okay, so some of those I can shoot through. Some of them I can't. Good to know, good to know. Right. Yeah, the disrespect. Oh! Oh, I feel bad for the poor thing, honestly. Oh shit. Yeah. Oh you kinda seem like you got some grossness going on there. <laughs> Guess what I'm gonna put in that? It's not my dick. Oh shit. Yeah, I gotta shoot these fucking cancer pustules, gross ass things. Why are they all so gross? 
fucking gross. Ow. What's up, bitch? Alright, oh, uh, you need to play Crisis Core in some form and DOC. Do you know that half of Crisis Core is just doing side quests for lore? I'll give you a pass on Before Crisis since it was Japanese only flip phones and no one has access to it, but you could play Ever Crisis since I think you include that part of the story in it. But reading a summary of what happened in Before Crisis is probably fine. <gasps> My character did about 25 views as a pro volleyball player. Zero championship wins. Damn, but you made bank, right? Before Crisis, you played as the Turks. That's awesome, bro. I guess we signed up for a weak team then. Bitch. 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 Oh! Pfft. Motherfucker just decked. Oh shit. Motherfucker just decked me. I am gonna try to save up on these goals. I'm actually kinda hurt right now. Uh, okay, so, but like, okay, you said Crisis Core uh, in some form. So is that you counting the remakes as such form, or are you saying that we, we shouldn't, we shouldn't play the original and just play the remakes instead? That, that's what I'm wondering. Nope. Not falling for that shit again. Oh, this is gross. I always forget just how much. What's this guy's name again? Starts with a K. He really is Captain Body Horror. Like, it's gross as shit. What's that? Oh! Oh, I could have parried it. Fuck. Yeah, the biggest plot point that happened before Christ is that Rufus is secretly a large part of Ash, a large part, and that whole thing gets covered before Christ happens. That literally get rid of most of the Turks to make the most important okay, thing. Keep it on trash. And. So it's an important plot to keep in mind if they decide to keep that camp for a remake. Right, but like, okay. Could I just play the remake of Crisis Core or should I play the original Crisis Core? That, that's what I'm wondering. Yes, I can just, yes, I can just play the remake. Uh, I, I, how, how much on sale? I mm, mm -mm, can't justify it. I'm still gonna keep up my radar, but I cannot justify it as of now. Also, we're gonna watch this cutscene just long enough for the disrespect to kick in. Hold up. Sorry, I love this. And then I'm just gonna sit here. Kyle, I love how many cutscenes she charges the gun without pointing it at them that she's just kind of like that she's just kind of like hold this for me bitch <laughs> it's so good Why does he just throw his fingers at me? It's so fucking gross. He's literally throwing his claws at me. There you go. Uh, you know what? I can't just like rebind Dragon Quest 11 so I can get S edition because I thought the original release is great and give me an option to because I technically can sleep with the open. Oh, I do wish Spirit bring Dragon Quest 1 out of Steam in some way though. I think the time was an ammo level. And see, I haven't. Okay, I know. 
like, I know you've talked about Dragon Quest a lot, and a few other friends of mine have, but, like, I've never really looked into it. The only thing I really know about Dragon Quest is that, like, it was the original, or I don't know, I assume Pokemon came out first, but, like, it has a similar formula in a lot of ways. And that the guy who, the guy whose style is basically Dragon Ball Z, the guy whose style is basically Dragon Ball Z, through the whole game. That, that's like all I know about it. Bye, bitch. Akira Toriyama, yes, yes. I did not remember the name, but that is, de yeah. Now you say it, I recognize, yep. I did not think any of those were gonna hit. I was doing that on principle. Yeah, this is definitely like we're we're healing a lot in this fight, but we're also getting hit a lot in this fight. I love that when you hit his face with a missile, he roars. Nope. To be fair to DQ, I'm going to be 61. How was the beat without 100% and I was 8? Aww. In before, you're like... You're like, yeah, it took me 61 hours to beat. I hated it. Guy, but you're not letting me read his face. Yeah! You liked it? Oh, good, good. Oh! Everyone, we must appreciate this cutscene. Fucking height. Ah, oh, ah, oh, gross. Bitch. <laughs> well, it was just like, what? Like, seriously, Samus exudes badassery, especially in this game. Like, it's so good. Just how calm she is when she does these different things. I fucking love it. What do we get for killing her? Hopefully wherever that is. But uh okay, switch the youngest star of the pro the advancing one year and they and had you are getting bullied at school, who do you tell? I went with the tell my half sister option. Here's what the sister did to a seven year old. Punctured her spine. How does that even work? Like, with a pencil? With a, uh, pierced her forehead, socked her eyebrow, and broke her hand. Oh my goodness. That's a little... That sister had no chill. She was trying to kill her. <laughs> Granted, I did get a little tired of grinding a few levels after every major story beat if I didn't actually grab it being lost. That's a fallacy of JRPGs. Yeah, that, I was gonna say, that's, that's JRPGs in general. And it's why, like... <sighs> Look, I love Pokemon a bit. I I don't want anyone to ever say I don't love Pokemon, but that mess drives me nuts. I don't like grinding, and I don't like when grind when like just by me like fucking around. I grind so much that I uh, who do you wanna call it? That I then become overpowered. Like it's such a weird balance. Yeah. Well, of course we were more forgiving as kids. Yeah. I still need to play Scarlet and Violet. I heard it was I, like. Some people said it was ass. Some people said it was good. Like, I don't know. I still want to play at some point. Alright. Causes charge beam shots to explode impact. Nice. Okay, okay. I haven't finished a Pokemon game past Gen 3. Yeah. I forget. Did you did you enjoy when I played Pokemon games on stream? Or, are you like, or were you on team? This is dumb and why are we doing this? Just remind me real quick. Oh, we're not gonna do that. No, no. Oh, damn it. Son of a bitch. Yeah. Because I like Pokemon, but I can, I can take a step back and acknowledge if no one else. If no one else likes playing Pokemon games. Like, I'm, I'm not gonna sit here and be like, how dare you? It's like, no, if no one likes 
been playing Pokemon games. No one likes me playing Pokemon games. I don't remember turning in other than doing a Nuzlocke you were doing, I think, and I was fairly baked. <laughs> oh, oops. I didn't actually mean to teleport. Yeah, sorry, Max. I gotta be honest with you. I was, I was high as fuck during that playthrough, so, like, I don't remember it. You don't remember me again, like... I don't remember if you were there or not. Do you remember me, like, uh, trying to do a bug playthrough? You don't remember me doing, like, a bug playthrough in one of the games and then realizing that there was effectively no bugs for me to get? And I was pissed. Not, like, casually pissed. I was, like, pissed, pissed. Um... Or when I did the silver Nuzlocke and... Um, we can explore that. That's probably important. Up there. I'm kind of iffy on if those are actually important or not. It wouldn't take long. Yeah, let's teleport back. And then we'll, and then we'll go back to... Yeah, let's teleport back real quick. There might be something good. Uh, the other one that I had a lot more fun with, the silver playthrough, where uh, I decided to have a mascot because I really wanted a Slowbro. I forget what her name was. I just remember it was a girl, and that Slowbro kicked ass. I want to say I played on this channel at some point in time. Might be on YouTube or on Twitch. No, no, I've done most of them on Twitch. I've played every generation of Pokemon except five and Scarlet. Which I forget if that's Scarlet seven or eight. Because Hawaii was six. Britain was seven. Scarlet is eight. I forget. Oh shit. Hey, I was gonna say, like, how how's this gonna work? Uh ooh. That is funny. <laughs> They're like, yeah, crawl in the lava, asshole. I'm like, no, thank you. I, um, so let's try this way. Uh, huh. Crate. No, I guess we're using the teleporter. All right, Pharise Pharise Pharisees, Pharisees, all right, let's go. I know, uh, you know what, Dan kick ass? Starfield with its rain falling into shambles. I still want to play Starfield. I know, okay, I, I know we talked about this before. Remind me on the consensus. P you guys were more interested in cyberpunk than Starfield, right? It was, yeah, it was between Outer Worlds, Starpunk, and Cyber, or er, Outer Worlds. <laughs> Cyberpunk and Starfield, and it was either Cyberpunk or Starfield you guys were more interested in playing. It was not Outer Worlds whatsoever. Outer Worlds is right out. I remember that, but I want to say it was it was Cyberpunk or Starfield. You know what? Uh, Starfield's random. I know Jail liked it, but I saw some gameplay of it. It looked like a loading screen simulator. If I want to play Oblivion, I'll do that. Um, yeah, I know I know Jail really liked it. I don't know if he's still in chat. But, um, yeah, Jail really liked it. Some friends of mine really liked it as well. But their thing, and they gave a very reasonable, a very reasonable and respectful response to it. They were like, they like the game, but it's not enough of an upgrade. And that they were just disappointed by a lot of concepts, and a lot of it was just kind of boring. So, I would like to play it at some point. Like, you know what? I I like Bethesda games. I like Fallout. I like Fallout in space. You know, I'm sad to hear that, like, it didn't do as well. But, you know, like, I just want to give it a chance. Maybe I, like, really like it for whatever reason, you know? Maybe, oh. I don't think I can do that. God, that's a lot of lava. That's a lot of lava, folks. I don't think I can play that game. 
Um, let's see. I'd be more interested in you playing Elder Scrolls 2 Daggerfell. It's free. Hell, you can play the Unity port that upscales the graphics if you want to. It'd be fine. Starfield is literally Skyrim's face without the fun of happening across from someone to make quests. Like, you know how in Skyrim you get quests to town, find like two or three caves or With loading screens, it was cool and interesting game. Great concept. And you would sidetrack for three Starfield doesn't do that. Yeah. Alright, so your vote is old ass Elder Scroll games. I still have never finished Oblivion. I need to go back and restart that. This area, Skyrim, appears to be a biological research lab. This entire place is made out of wires, Adam. What do you think? In this area, there is another sector above you still suffering from the blackout. Find the next generator and reactivate it. They are unable to look at TikTok. How will I be able to indoctrinate them? I mean, how will they have electricity to heat their homes? Don't let your guard down. Your primary objective is to survive. Proceed with the utmost care. Got a problem with that lady? Right. Okay, uh, I guess we're going this way. Yeah. Look at- Oh, that poor puppy. Oh god, oh, fuck. Fuck. That poor pup- Shit, shit. Things kick my ass. Let's see. But um, Jail, what, Jail? What's your opinion? What's your opinion? Are you interested in cyberpunk? Are you interested in uh? Are you interested in cyberpunk? Are you more interested in uh? Outer Wilds, Garfield. Or should we just avoid that shit like the plague, play old Elder Scroll games? Uh, I hit the invisibility button! Well, fuck! Uh, Outer Wilds. Oh, no, no, sorry. It's Outer Worlds or Outer Wilds? Outer Wilds is this really interesting mystery game that I was gonna play on my own. Outer Worlds is basically Fallout in space. It's written by the same people who did, uh,. 76? Not 76. Uh, Vegas. My ability to say words is getting to be a little lacking today, folks. Not enough caffeine, I think, is the problem. Shit, shit, shit. Gotta get the fuck out of here. Gotta get the fuck out of here. That's unfortunate. Gotta get the fuck out of here. Uh, I'm a ma- What the fuck is this thing? It kind of looks like the monster we killed that had the invisibility, but... Oh. Oh, uh. <laughs> yeah, it, 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 it's basically, think, Fallout... Or, sorry, yeah, it's, a uh, It's Fallout New Vegas in space. The main reason I was interested in it was because... It's from the writers in New Vegas, who had a great sense of humor, had very good world building. You know what I mean? Like, there's, there was just so much... I don't know what the fuck I'm supposed to do with that. Yeah, there was so much good in New Vegas that, like, I would love to see an entire video game. I would love to see an entire video game like dedicated to that world, that kind of style, you know what I mean? Because I still stand by that like, okay, Fallout 4 is the best mechanically, but New Vegas is the best in terms of story. And half that is because you really get to see the impact of your actions in the world. And I love that. I don't appreciate that motherfucker making noise. Uh, haha. Uh -huh. Shit. Shit. Yeah. And I'm dead. Shit. But, um, yeah. I've seen a lot of gameplay. I don't think I think Starfield stretches the Bethesda form of two. I think Starfield stretches the Bethesda form too thin. It's not a horrible game, but it's not great. Yeah, that's that's what Zach and uh, 
I forget if it was Rob or Jeremy who played it. Shit, well. Oh, come on, that window. It's so small that I basically have to be predictive about it. I'm interested to play it. I don't know if you'd be interested for stream. Is my main thing. Shit ass. Shit ass. Shit ass. I'm starting to feel like I'm beating my head against the wall here. You know, Cyberpunk, um, Cyberpunk, I need to buy the, uh, Phantom Liberty DLC, because A, I heard it was very, very good. Yeah, A, I heard it was very, very good, and B, um, apparently it changes how the gameplay is drastically, to the point where it's almost an entirely new game. So that's why I'm kind of biased, I'm like, I can't, I can't. I kind of play Cyberpunk, but that I can also acknowledge if no one else is interested in that, that might also be a me game, and I'm okay with that because I need to be better about playing games just for me. Shit. Ass. Leave him. Uh, Marwin was my jam as a team. Got me into LUA code. So I probably do stuff after the shaky release. Yeah, that that's definitely a big thing that I heard too. That like it's gotten so much better. I'd give it a go if you want to, and if it felt like something you could didn't think was stream worthy, you could just cancel them and play it off. See, I feel bad whenever I say something's not steam worthy or stream worthy. It doesn't mean it's a bad game, it just means it doesn't make for good television. That was part of the issue I had with uh with uh Tales of Arise. It, I think it's a good game, honestly. Like I did enjoy it. But it did not make for good television. Uh, Dragon Age Inquisition, which I need to go back and play at some point. That bitch looking at me. It it was a oh it was a good game, but it just did not make for good television. I could definitely see myself enjoying it more. I could definitely see my s Oh no, it's that tank that killed me. It's that tank that killed me. Are these spider webs or is this slime? Oh, that bitch gonna turn on. Oh, fuck. Bitch. Bitch. But also, it would be it'd be the Red Dead Redemption thing again. How much time or how much time will you guys let me indulge in just being a shitter and exploring the world and just kind of having fun with it? Versus, come on, Max, we got a show to run here. Keep it to the interesting shit. You know what I mean? And yes, I know, Max. We like it when you're just vibing and having fun with it. I know, but I work. I wanted to finish Metroid and Lulu was gonna take forever we know it's gonna take forever I promise we're gonna go back I promise let me finish Metroid <laughs> this is literally we're playing the last game and I love it like this game's so good uh, hold on a sec. you're like no I'm salty how room That was considered a traffic cone. How could you say that? How could you say that to my fucking favorite girl? This like, look, y'all know I am a horny bastard for Tifa, and Samus is toe to toe with her. Why would you? Yes. Fuck yeah. 
Fuck yeah, normal bombs. And Samus goes toe-to-toe -to -toe with her. How could you say such a thing? It's my girl. Oh, <laughs> <gasps> Wait! Oh, 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 oh! Oh, shit. It's four. Hold on. Yeah! How dare you sit? How dare you slander my waifu, you son of a bitch. Look, I'm glad that you have your waifu, but this one's mine, damn it. Oh shit, how many? I don't know how to kill this thing. Okay, hold on. Did that actually hurt him? Oh shit. Shit. Fuck. Okay, I hope this thing's a total heal and not just like halfway's heal. Man it What's our daughter's name, by the way? I say our, but like, what's her, what's her name? I have no idea how to fucking kill this thing for the record. Okay, okay, it is killable. All right, I can, I can sit there and brute force it. Good to know. I don't know what those gross things are, but they remind me of the one shadow enemy things from uh, Prime. I think it got its axe embedded in its central nervous system. Okay. Want to make sure I was going to the right place. Whee! Valeria. Valeria will be strong. You must make her a cha cha chast, chaste, chat. She can't be a whore. That's the rule. Can't be a whore. And you're like, I've already slept with several coaches and science teachers. And uh, if any of them rat me out, uh, they're going to prison. The record. Is, uh, yep. That's uh, that's just how this shit's going to play out. There's no. There's no getting around it. I will rat them out. Doesn't matter that I initiated. Whoa, that's a shift. It was also used in the book series. You have me remax and saw death. That's just what I could. I could. She's at the age of the game now. <laughs> Don't sleep with the teachers. You must have morals. W your mother. Your mother who came from hard times and hard places would not endorse that shit. Don't. Whatever you do, do not sleep with her in order to convince her to help with like a foreign Islamic terrorism state by setting up like multiple bombs in a in, in, on a bridge in order to kill wow, that's very pretty there. in order to kill a lot of people do not do that shit do not shoot your brother as he's trying to kill your dad and then feel bad about it and then still suicide bomb a bridge it's a crime don't I'm referencing the remake of 24, by the way, on Hulu. But um, Red will get to we'll get to Final Fantasy Lulu, all right? Like we'll we'll get there. Damn it! Like we'll we'll get back there. Just let me finish Metroid, and then also once uh, Baldur's Gate is finished, that'll free up a lot of time for it too. We'll be the final. We'll be the Lulu channel for quite some time. Oh, wait, that was your eight times great grandmother who is a sex worker from the Czech Republic. I thought they were all sex workers. <laughs> you gotta, you gotta break, you gotta break that. Well, you, you gotta break that history. Not, don't be a sex worker. You're like, I'm gonna be a double sex worker. <laughs> I'm gonna triple sex worker. <laughs> I'm gonna run my own. Oh, I'm gonna run my own company. Whenever I need to think hard, I'll just, I'll just, I'll just put a dick in, like in my mouth, like I'm a, like it's a cigarette. Like that's just what I'll do. You spin me right now, baby. Right now. I'm gonna become a triple sex worker, cause fuck you, Max. That 
That's concerning. Wait a second. We're already underwater. That thing probably has a way in. Yeah, what crack I was smoking. That was literally a plot point in 24. So I don't want to spoil it unless someone cares. But basically there's a girl who is um oh, I bet I could have I bet I could have actually used that to move around. Nah, that's fine. Um basically she her brother got into a terrorist Islamic group and um but she needed help. And so she slept with the she slept with the science teacher who was supplying her different drugs and stuff, and essentially convinced him of uh, that like America is corrupt and that you should totally you should totally join the employment up and send a message because fuck the Americans. And yeah, in the process she slept with him. There's a bit where he is panicking because they're about to get caught, and she takes the time in that moment to start to suck his dick and then they were going to be found out so she makes a run for it no she makes a run for it and they kill the kid or try to they don't actually kill him. but yeah it was one of those things i was like what the fuck this doesn't feel in good taste this is, you wouldn't do that right now he's panicking that they're gonna get caught you're not gonna be like now's the time to suck his dick like no what the fuck the lower levels of Berenia are mostly submerged. Oh. You will need your gravity suit to operate there at full efficiency. Fuck yeah, I'm gonna need the gravity suit to operate there at full efficiency. I'm looking at the Steam sales this year, and I'm like not resonating with anything other than maybe getting FF7 integrated remake, Crisis Core, and DQ11. Might be because we've been talking about them, but I don't know. Uh, are, are the winter sales fully started? Let me check that. Uh, also, yo, she got athletic scholarship, all right. What, what? Yeah, let's check steam sales super quick ha like has the winter sale fully started i don't think it has let's see discount okay dead island uh i need to play onimusha at some point path logic chrono cross the radical dreamers evil tonight Hunt Showdown, I heard, was pretty good. Um, <gasps> we love Katamari! Okay, uh, Shadows of Doubt, Monster Hunter Rise. I'm not, you're right, I'm not really resonating with any of these either. Small Land seems kind of cool, it's basically grounded, but like fairy themed. <gasps> Blasphemous 2, but it's only 25% off, so... Mm, Valkyrie Elysium. Forspoken's on sale, removing that shit. Um, Dying Light 2, Stay Human. Mm, sorry, Jail. Nope. <laughs> Just, mm, nah. Nah. Yeah, Crisis Core is 40% off, so now it's 30 bucks. So that, and Integrated is 50% off, so now it's 35 Ghost Runner, Ghost Runner 2, Octopatch. Yeah, nothing's really, nothing's really doing it for me. Okay. Yeah, we can do that super quick. It should be fine. Megan's not home yet. She will probably stream for another hour or so, and then I'll uh, we'll get that set up real quick. But um, yeah, nothing on sale. Besides Final Fantasy, is really resonating with me, to be honest. Should I have her study physics so she could abuse her knowledge of it in pro matches? Um. Okay, so she's already getting a full ride scholarship, right? So she can effectively study whatever she wants as long as she keeps playing sports. I like the idea of that thematically. Like, you know how in uh, in the, not a, uh, the Robert Downey Jr., uh, Sherlock Holmes. Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. Would, would she, what if you make her like a doctor? What if you make her a doctor so she like knows the pressure points? Or, no, 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 you said volleyball, she's volleyball. Volleyball, she'll need to know physics more than anatomy. Yeah, yeah, do physics, yeah. Make her a genius. Alright, uh... Abilities such as the grapple beam or space jump will help you maneuver underwater to an extent. What if this is my first Metroid game? I don't know what the grapple beam or space jump is. Telling me, like, hey, you want that end game shit? We know you, we know you played a Metroid game before. I was like, what if this is my first Metroid game? Oh my goodness. Uh, those fish zooped into my body. What the fuck? Oh, shit. 
I have both of the South Park RPGs. You can play those on stream. Uh, first off, the ocean is looking lovely. Secondly, I... Uh, Wait a second. In Metroid Prime 3, I could remote command my ship to get the fuck over here. Get the fuck over here and blow up this glass wall. We can escape. I know we're actually here to investigate the place as well, but I'm just saying the options. The options right there. Hold on. Oh, oh, this is gonna this is gonna be some seeker missile. This is gonna oh fuck off. Hang on. Hold on. Yeah, this is gonna be some seeker missile bullshit. No, there's no way I can do that. Not even like casually no way, like there's just genuinely no way. Yes to physics, yes. yes. Well, I mean, I don't know. What are, the, what are the other... Are are any of the other options funny? Like... Uh, maybe? Go here. But... Now, okay, I think the South Park RPGs, I don't know, like, some people said they were actually pretty good. I never, I was never really that interested in them, you know what I mean? Like, I, I just always kind of saw them as like, eh. But that's also because I don't really watch South Park, like, at all. So, I mean, I've seen clips and stuff, of course, everyone has, but... Yeah, it's not, it's not, like, super... It's not like super on, on my radar. Also, I like this puzzle that they make it so that, you know, they basically just taught me right there. There will be situations where using the bombs will be disadvantageous. Dis disadvantage, disadvantage, disadvantageous. It would be, it would, uh, I, it's not a real word. I've been told it's not a real world before. There's no advantage to using the, the, the bomb. Disadvantage, shut up. I don't speak words good. Why didn't it play a sound? Why didn't it? Why didn't it play a sound? Why didn't it? Hold on. I'm about to fix that. Why does it? Write that down. Why does it next play a sound? Ah, it's got 38 seconds. Uh, I forget I had said just turn off on stream and I had to double take it. Some faces I just saw before scrolling past. Oh, Terminated. maybe it just didn't play for me for whatever reason. Uh, let's see. I like South Park because they make fun of everything equally and sometimes it hits really well. I can agree with that. Yeah, it's how I think Grand Theft Auto should be. Everyone's on the table to be made fun of. Oh shit. Um. Oh no, I'm not. I'm not gonna be able to do that. I'm not gonna be able to do that unless they give me like a time slow. Okay, sorry. Engineering, physics, psychology, political, political science is dumb. Uh, English, nursing. Everyone does nursing, and I never use it. Graphic design, no, because then it'll be those people who follow me on Twitter who are like, buy my shit. Uh, marketing, you know, communications, <laughs> economics. <laughs> now fuck that physics. Physics. Go fucking physics. There's no anatomy. I mean, there's nursing, but, like, I feel like that's a little bit more specific. That's not just, like, that's not like being a doctor. Well, I guess nursing. Nursing doesn't sound like you will learn how to break people's arms in the most efficient way possible. So, fuck. Her mother did that. Break people's arms in the most efficient way possible. Yeah, I learned that when you're on the street, you know. <laughs> Ow! Fuck! 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 You know what? I'm gonna milk you. I'm gonna milk you. Fuck out of you. Yeah, try it again, bitch. 
I like that this is an actual enemy though. Like this is cool. Knock the fuck out of you. <laughs> and I did. You're welcome. Yeah. Uh, 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 okay, we're good. I don't know what that fish is, but I don't like it. I don't know what that fish is, but I don't like it. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. This is suddenly really scary. This is suddenly incredibly uncomfortable. Oh, oh, I hate this. I actually hate this. Oh, God, something from the background is going to come and eat my ass. Like that right there. That, that shit right there. See that shit? That shit was... Oh, God, this is actually my nightmares. This is actually my nightmares. Like, um... Just a face coming in from the darkness. Like, a, just a shark bigger than life going... Bah! Like... Oh, I hate this. This is why no one likes the ocean. Oh, this is why no one likes the ocean. I don't know if there's actually a secret here, so I'm just gonna double check. Okay, if something was there, it would show up. Oh, this makes me uncomfortable. Oh, I hate this. Uh, have I been streaming for four years? God, I'm worthless. I, uh, yeah, yeah. Fuck it. Mine is bigger, right? Uh, something about motion in the ocean, if I remember correctly, Joe. <laughs> My ADHD is going all over the place. I'd like to formally apologize for existing. <laughs> ah, I didn't train the one. We're too deep. Oh, I can't, can't do that. Can't go back the way if I wanted to. That don't matter. You have four years of XP. All of it good too. You know what? That's a very positive way to look at it. Thank you for that. That's very kind of you. You know, four years of learning and growing, right? Damn it. <laughs> oh, wait, is this. Is Flash suit the sprinting? What's. Okay, what's Flash suit? Ooh. Ooh. Press A to flash shift. Next tilt back to move this. Uh -huh. Oh! <laughs> oh! 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 Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. Yeah. 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 Hold on. Yeah. Okay. Hold on. Okay, so I, I have to stay move. I have to. Yeah, yeah. I have to stay in that horizontal angle. Okay, so I can't do it in the water. That's good to know. Good to know. I don't even know how to take that statement, Red said. Slow to the t what? <laughs> what is that even supposed to mean? Uh, the the winter sales will will kick in soon, I imagine. I mean, it's the fifteenth of December and they haven't started yet. I'm sh I'm sure they'll be better. Like Steam would have made a much bigger deal out of like the full sales they're active. Well, I mean, you just, I, 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 I think, oh, fuck yeah. 
which is an actual man, the guy with the biggest one in the world that comic paints stop being able to get it up. Wait, what? This is why I do blood topi. <laughs> hold on, hold on, oh, okay, hold on, hold on. So, the guy, his dick is so big he can't get it up without losing oxygen to, or without losing blood to his brain? Or, like, the way his, the way his, like, heart is, like, weak and blood, like, I explain, explain. When you have one that make, when you have one that, that big, it takes too much blood, it makes the blood flow elsewhere too thin, you pass out. Okay, okay, so you were saying, due to the size of his pingus, he actually knocks himself out. <laughs> Jail's like, don't worry, I thought about this. <laughs> I've taken the blood of several people to make sure that this thing is fully operational. <laughs> Of course, it's so big that no one can actually no one can actually use it. So I'm effectively still shit out of luck. But I get to gloat. Challenge accepted. <laughs> Damn. Just thinking about jail. You could have you could you could have taken Redress to the ball. Wait, that's a double punch. <laughs> that's not even the double punch I was going for. <laughs> that's not even the double punch I was going for. Beautiful. <laughs> oh, that feels good. <laughs> As we all immediately proceed to double down. <laughs> What the fuck is this fish? Why is he so tanky? Why the fuck is this fish so tanky? Bitch. God, I love that moving, da like that running dash. It feels so good every time. Nope. That's suspicious. Nope, can't use it. In the water. Spook and I talked about like a bunch of different games that we could stream together in the same way that we stream Baldur's Gate 3. I don't know if or when we do that, but like, I'd be interested in doing that. Although that being said, I don't know, what's everyone's opinion on Baldur's Gate 3? I'm really enjoying playing it, but if if I'm told that it doesn't make for good to own, <laughs> if you guys were like, you know, it's fun, but it doesn't make for the best television, I can accept that emotionally. Ooh, what is it? What is it? Uh, fuck. Ah, oh, fuck. Um, fuck. I should know that. It's... I have a picture of him in my head. Uh, it wasn't Achilles. No, it wasn't. It wasn't Achilles. I, I forget now. I forget now. Well, damn. Maybe I'm trying to make for good television. I appreciate it. I'm trying to give the people what they want. And you're like, play Final Fantasy VII. No, I can't possibly do that. I can't play Final Fantasy VII. It's a dumb game for losers. <laughs> yeah, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> this is like, what? what's like the most hurtful thing I can say right now? Go. <laughs> Oh, because I opened up those two spots. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Nice. I only lowered the water level in that area. The people don't want us to talk about the things we like talking about, so. <laughs> Get a voice modulator and become a female VTuber. I could. Except, okay, I don't know about you guys. Or, I, I don't know if there's, like, a real solution to this. Or maybe I'm just bad at, uh, the one software I use for the VTuber. It does not make girls look good. Straight up, they look bad. Unless they're pussies. If you want any form of boobage, not even, like, insane, ridiculous boobage. Like, reasonable amounts of boobage. It does not look good. 
so we'd have to figure that out. A voice modulator, I can 100% do that. Right, yeah. Become that really weird female. Wait, become that really weird female VTuber? Which one? It is a heavily matriarchal society. Is it, was it Zentria? Zentrea? Uses a really heavy voice modulator that also puts the text on screen, which I'm not entirely sure how that works. There's also, I forget her name, the uh, the bunny girl who's funny. But anyways. I like the shield that only that only blocks water, but do you think if there was ever a shield like that that exists in real life, fish would every now and then just run into it, and you'd just be sitting there, all of a sudden a tuna would just go like, bloop, bloop, through it and just fall out, and we're like, ah, oh, shit, God. So you have to like pick up the, you have to pick up the tuna. You have to like pick up the tuna and essentially try to get it back home, like put it back into the wall so it swims away and can breathe. No one else thinks about these things. That's why you come to this channel. Because we talk about stuff on the internet we shouldn't talk about. Shit! Oh, of course it fucking can move through the water like it's free. Motherfucker. Yeah, of course it can! Of course it can! Ah! Would be nice. I think you're more saying it would be nice to get paid. <laughs> I asked and you said no. Just, just, just gotta throw that out there. <laughs> but now, do I really want to rebrand and recreate myself? Eh, not really. Like, sure, I've been for funsies working on a new VTuber model, but like... Oh, shit. I've been for funsies working on a new VTuber model, but it's not like I would act differently. Or pretend like I'm a different person, you know what I mean? Well, that's very kind and generous of you. Also, I'm broke. <laughs> I got a kid on the way, man. You think I got time? Uh, I, or not time. You think I got money? Well, this is unfortunate. Okay, well, 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 let's talk about this, let's talk about this. Can we at least discuss this a little bit? Shit. Bye. Okay, where am I actually trying to go? There, okay. You know where the fuck I am. Fuck you, robot. Oh, shit. Matty. Okay. Like, I think I'm doing okay. Wait, uh, let me just make sure I didn't miss anything. I right, got I'm just giving you shit, so. I, okay, first and foremost, I like the art that we have going. I, I think it looks good. I, and I really appreciate the help that you, Jail, both did in, like, do you think this looks better? Do you think this looks better? Playing it through the watercolor shit. Like, I think it looks awesome, first and foremost. The V2 model is more just, like, Let's be honest, this one that I have here, I think it's well designed, but it's also pretty basic. So I would like to, if possible, just kind of spruce it up a little bit, make it fancier. If you ask very nicely, I'll show a preview of what I'm of how it's going so far. If you ask very nicely. This dodge is so fucking cool. Love me some shadow dashes. You did give value. You did give fault feedback. I'm proud of you. The fuck did jail do? I poured my heart and soul into those 240 seconds. I mean, that was that was the thing I emphasized. That it's like. Yo, I really appreciate you helping. Thank you for doing that. But you cannot spend more than five minutes on this. <laughs> because of my endless guilt. So you're not entire. 
Spelling, not strength. It's okay, Grok. I'm so proud of you. Alright, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Oh, this is a bad idea. I'm gonna talk to you fast. Oh, he's doing little flips. That's way too early. Alright, well, death. Well. Yeah. <laughs> What are the, I mean, I've used... I've, hold on, hold on, hold on a second. If I switch to the... Uh, did, I, did I ever update it? Hold on. Uh, where's the live VTuber? Yeah, the live VTuber still has... The live v, or the live zoom in still has like the other artwork that you made. I still think it looks pretty good. But I do remember you saying that I should switch to this so it's like a little more consistent. I'll have you know. <laughs> I still use your shit. What are you on about? There we go. Cried, screaming, shitting, partying. <laughs> oh, oh, shit, 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 shit. Okay, go, 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 go. Okay, this, this is probably going to be a good spot. Wait, wrong weapon. Oh, shit. Ow. Oh, no. Oh, wrong button, wrong button. Way early. Yeah. <sighs> Go again. Go again. Okay. All right, where are you, big pal? Oh shit! No! No! <laughs> shit! Shit! Yeah, walk walk into this shit, mother. Yeah! Yeah! Oh, 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 Walk into this shit, motherfucker! Yeah, piece of death. Okay. Go, go, go. Hot shit. Alright, there you go, there you go. We can see him over there. We can abuse that this is a 3D space. We can still see him. Bitch. Oh, the Daleks are getting worse by the second. Oh, God. Scary motherfucker just running at me like that. Ah. I think it was a Game Grumps bit. <laughs> like, just crying, screaming, throwing up, shitting, farting, coming. <laughs> it's like they would always just add that. It's like crying, screaming, shitting, farting. <laughs> Give me a good giggle. Allow Samus to dash at supersonic speed after a short buildup. Press blank once while running to ready the speed booster. Continue running for a certain distance and the speed booster will activate. While active, any enemies standing there will be damaged and any speed boost will be destroyed. Uh... Okay. <sighs> I don't like the speed booster. I it's, it's mainly because speed boosters, it's fun as a concept, but it basically requires the whole environment There you go. It basically requires the whole environment to be designed in such a way to facilitate for it. You know what I mean? Although, I like to point out, spots haven't... <gasps> They're permanently gone. All right, you know what? I lied. Speed boosters. Oh, and you can still do the running jump with them. All right, you know what? That's an improvement. That is a major improvement, because normally speed boosters, you can't. Like, you just kind of have to, like, deal with it. And it's, like, super annoying. That right there, so much better. That feels a lot better. I still don't like speed boosters in concept. But you know what? Okay, well, we'll... Oh. Fuck you. But you know what? Maybe, maybe I'm a little haste. Maybe, maybe... Oh, shit. Maybe I'm being a little hasty in my judgment, just because I have a... How am I supposed to do that? How am I supposed to do that? Hold on. Wow. I think the longer path is this way.
There's not enough room. Maybe there's a, a trick or a method to it. Same thing with that one. supposed to do that unless uh, are we playing pizza tower now where I can like yeah are you playing pizza tower where I can like nope nope you can't switch directions good work me Hang on. oh come on no okay got yeah, pressed a little earlier than I think I have to Max, did you not read the instructions properly? No, yeah, shut. Okay, I'm gonna speed up the time. I'm gonna tilt down while this. Oh, you have to tilt it down first and then press B to activate. Okay, okay, okay. There you go, okay. Oh yeah, okay, nice. So the fuck? Alright. Bitch! Oh, yeah, that's kinda cool. Yeah. Like ah. Uh, it's just those kind of situations I always have a hard time with when it comes to the speed stuff. That's why I'm against it. You know what I mean? Okay, so that's a speed boost. That's a speed boost. But where's the one that was like fucking me? I think it's, I think it's this one. Like, okay, there's a secret there, so we might as well blast through it. Can't do that one. We're on the wrong side. So we might as well go up here, do that one. That could be something too. All right, all right, all right. So yeah, let's uh, we head up, up to the right. But oh, so what I was referencing earlier was um. What I was referencing earlier was Baldur's Gate was only one of the games that Spook and I talked about doing. The other ones were like, uh, wait, what? We talked about doing the Divinity Original Sin games, which I'm honestly pretty interested in. I think they'd be good fun. I don't know if anyone else would think that they'd be fun, but I feel like I feel like Spook and I work pretty well together. We're kind of silly, but... Aha! I remember that trick, bitch! I remember that trick! Because it happens in a few different games. Totally worth it. They so have to do that. Heck, I was doing that in Primal. Or not Prime, uh... Who do you want to call it? Uh, I was doing that in uh, Samus Returns a lot. Okay. Nice. Can't do anything with that, but you know what? You know what? Yeah, I don't. I don't know how much anyone would be down for that, or if that's another case of it should just be a me adventure and just call it a day. Or well, I guess it'd be me and her, but like. Trying to figure out when to press the play together, but you, you know what I'm talking about. Might as well nail that for sake of the teleport. I'm already here. No, no. Right, come on, come on. Oh, it. Did it, did it. Right. 
activate this teleporter just to get that shit out of the way. There you go. Nice, nice. I don't really know where I'm supposed to go from here, but like, you know what? Now we can. All right, uh, where's our next location? the spot that had me that I was going through it like 50 times and getting annoyed. Yeah. yeah, but those games are not going on sale for shit. Not, actually, that's not actually true. They go on sale a lot, but they never go on sale enough. You know what I mean? But I think that's also because they're still pretty new. They're still pretty in the public eye. Like, heaven forbid they need to make a profit. Right, like, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna be like, how dare they? But I'm also sitting here like, I'm, bitch, I'm poor. Where am I supposed to go next? Okay. Uh, we gotta, we gotta look for speed boost stuff. Speed boost stuff or flash stuff? I can definitely get that, like killing the like for example, uh who do we call it? Tears of the Kingdom. Um I I wanna play Tears of the Kingdom. Tears of the Kingdom looks really good. But I I've been watching Game Grumps play it and that kinda curbs my desire, you know what I mean? Probably for the best, honestly. But I would like to still play it at some point. Where's the spot that I was getting mad because they kept making me run through the place? And the robot kept fucking killing me. Where the fuck is that spot? I want to find that robot and fuck him up. What's in here? Why can I not find that spot all of a sudden? I'm not accidentally looking at the same map repeatedly and like lying to myself, right? Like I am actually looking at different maps. Oh wait, did I kill that robot already? No, it, it, where the fuck is it? It's the first place, or it was the place that introduced the doors that close when you step on them. Where the fuck? Darian, guitars. This zit on my, I have two zits that have not like fully formed yet, but they hurt like a motherfucker. It's starting to drive me a little nuts. Oh, probably, probably. I wouldn't doubt that for a second. And it makes sense, you know, just like focus on the new one here, play the old one. I can't, yeah. Can't do band-aids. I hate band-aids. That's an actual thing. I, I genuinely, you know, I genuinely hate band-aids. That's because I don't like to feel like something sticky on me. All right, I'll stop. Um, I feel like I'm going insane though. Like seriously, where the fuck? I guess there's this right here. I could go back to here, which would be. This. Give me this. Okay. 
there's only four areas and for the life of me I can't find that spot I don't want to just start running or else I'm gonna No, I don't know if I have rubbing alcohol in the house. I should probably get some. It's just useful. Where the fuck is that robot? Okay, let's stop focusing on the robot. Let's more focus on like what I could get to this problem, but hold on. Nah, I can't because of the red there. Um Okay. What about in this area? What can speed boost get me? Um that's where I got the ball. I love I really do love that they give you the ball so late into the game. I think that's great. Usually it's the first upgrade. Berenia, that is Berenia, okay. Okay, what about Guitarist? Guitarist is lava area number one and lava area number two. That's how it is for the team. How's that? There's that, but I don't think that would actually lead to anything really worthwhile, would it? I must have killed that robot already. The one that I'm thinking of, at least. Here's a big lava area. We can't go in there because that's a pole. Might be able to get through that, but like, uh, uh. Do they want me to like run through here and then jump up and then like continue fighting in that area, or like maybe the same thing here? Teleport door yellow, so I have to get to the other teleport door. I suspect where I need to go is in Artaria, which is right here. Sorry, sorry, I'm, uh, I'm just like looking around being like, I, I don't quite know where to go. See, this is, okay, I love the freedom of exploration. I love, like, the movement options they're giving me. I love the, uh, I love the mobility. They all feel really good, right? I want to make that clear. But you, I really do love how in Samus Returns, you had a radar, and they were like, hey, you need to be in this area. Don't worry about the rest of it. You'll get there, but you need to be in this area. Everything you need is in here somewhere. Like, I really appreciated that. Because there wasn't this question of, like, I'm now searching through four areas going, like, here, is it here, is it here, you know what I mean? Like, it's just, here you go, make it happen. And I really appreciated that. We might as well get this unlocked just for future goodiness. That's why I'm sitting here just like, ah, is it, fuck, is it, what about, okay, there, 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 that's a speed boost thing. Oh, shit. I'm sorry, I saw a slip inside and I got excited. Sue me. Okay, yeah, so. There you go, okay. 
Oh shit, I'm not kidding me to do. Oh. Nice. Okay, so hang on a sec. Nope, fuck that. There you go. All right. Sorry for being dumb. <laughs> I'm sitting here just like, I gotta miss something. I, gotta miss something. I don't know what I'm missing, but I assure you it's something. And whatever that something is, I assure you it's important that I'm missing it. No, okay. Oh, wait, hold on. Nah, my little flash jump isn't gonna help me with that. I gotta remember that I have that ability. <gasps> yeah! Nice. Fires a rope like beam that can latch onto blue grapple points. Hold and drink the blue. If Sam fires that mag, she will be pulled quickly towards it. I didn't actually look. How do you... Oh. Beautiful. Now, I know you might be thinking, Max, why the fuck would you not have immediately looked at it? The button, how to do it. You'll be surprised. I'm kind of dumb. And depending on how much my ADHD is going off, things get difficult for me in life. There you go. Uh, Resident Evil 3 remake is already only 10 bucks on Steam. Let's be honest, it is a DLC. Sure. I'll go in the. I'll, I'll go in the the, the Yeah. Try. Goodbye. Yep. You haven't heard. You you didn't hear people talk about that. Like, basically, so much was cut out of Resident Evil 3 that compared to how much is going on in Resident Evil 2 and, like, how faithful each one is to their original, that 3 might as well have been a DLC. Right, yeah. Don't you remember when I played it? I was sitting there like, wait a second, what about this zone? What about this zone? Why is this zone different? <laughs> like, I enjoyed Resident Evil 3. It still got a lot of very good stuff to it. That's fair. It's still got a lot of very good stuff to it. It's just, it's so much shorter. And there's so much, like, less going on. You know what I mean? Uh, we can take that elevator. Yeah, I think the rest is small fry stuff. So let's just, let's just head straight up. Get away from, no way. Touch the butt, touch the butt. But, um, no, I still, I still liked it overall. It's still a good game. I mean, I'm biased. I like Jill. Jill's pretty great. But, like, yeah, you know? Fuck yeah, let's go. I, mmm. I'm gonna say, that's fair, that's fair. Yeah, it's that, well, I think, I think Resident Evil 2 Remake does a very good job of keeping the same kind of like emotional weight to everything. I feel like RE2 is definitely superior. And like, I mean, I love, don't get me wrong, I love the OG, but I think 2 is very good. And I like, just a perfect example of a remake. But like 3, 3 was much more action-y, it was much more, I don't like how weirdly sexualized a lot of the enemies were. I don't like that they kept putting Jill in. I don't know what it is with Resident Evil, but they're like, Jill is put into the hentai situations. That, that is a law. That's just how life is. 
fucking they had face rape robots like what the fuck yeah th like the OG Resident Evil 3 was definitely more of survival horror while the remake was very much uh well the OG was very or sorry the OG was much more survival horror while the remake is much more uh action I, I was trying to be cool it didn't work that did though Oh, those are supply caches. Uh, yep, there we go. Oh, oh shit, oh shit. I'm so pretty. What the fuck is this words? I'm gonna read for a little bit. Can't read shit. God, I love that I parried him. That motherfucker. What the fuck? The fuck? Whoa! Oh shit! Oh, yeah, rightly so. It's like, pull the gun. What the fuck? I'll answer that question in a second. Hi. Uh, we love Katamari Reroll. Uh, that is a remake. Now. I don't understand your language, but I know Sam's does. What a badass name. Oh. I have to look at my steam I love how the Chozo look. He looks so good. Oh. I'm sorry. I'm <laughs> uh, Homeworld ZDR in order to I'm saying like this is a you like putting on me bro Oh. There's actually an X in disguise. Oh. 
intentar humasar el sumu y barilin y lieris. Avec ebores, ashkar behek, el meiris y dos carodan om. Ninu aros hakabe, ninu mahar mejeni, dos tumeman, ninu mahar yoris. Ishili mazroe, meili agar nalima, habari bama mugri sarali, rina tamahar toshe. Nutili mazro y desborodo. Y yoristar ashkar behek. Dora jabar bados. That was famous for turns. Has bados desparadan. Ashka urugal ata. Iliemae marjuma satari lin ashkar behek. Tamus arlan. Fejejadoran. Minu habar kumane humdos revolen ili mazro el dem eskanu lisa tama haris bi. What? But I loved the Metro DNA. Kino bulo trota. Ana marit sano bulo. Ay marhel kalo. Ata eshtor daboris uraha. I kind of worry about if I extract the Metroid DNA. What if we discover there are more X parasites? Target located. Damus. Oh. Asshole. How fucking dare! All right. Um. Can't, that guy was so chill. I'm gonna fuck him up. All right, so basically, basically, X parasites got in. X parasites got in. Ravenbeak was able to contain them, and then he's like, "Well, now go get the Metroids in order to." Oh fuck! They already were killed by me. So he, with him having X parasites here, he kind of lured us in and now wants our Metroid DNA. But um, so Katamari uh. Okay, what was it? Where, where, let's see. We Love Katamari. Uh, yes, We Love Katamari is a sequel. Uh, I have it on PS3, but I would like to play the remake version of it. Uh, yeah, We Love Katamari is a sequel. It might be the one that introduces all, like, the weird, trippy mind games to it that I remember were really cool. And, uh, yeah, Reroll is a remake. So, yes, to answer your question, it is a... It is a remake and a sequel, or it's a it's a remake of the sequel. Anyways, I'm gonna fuck this. Guy. Oh god! Got it. Back. Back the guy. Shit! I love that we kind of have similar weapons, though. Bitch! Bitch. Hold on. Did it, did it. My friend. No, my friend. Oh, damn it. I wonder since he could control the Metroids, could he have controlled me? Number. Hello. And thank you. Yeah, that yeah, this is this this is my first time playing this game. That's a lot of fun though. He was like starting to mess me up a little bit, but it's all fine. I'm having too much fun with this ability. Also, it strikes you that means purple nurple over there is concernedly awake again. Nah, I can't. I can't be clever about that. Listen, buddy. But okay, we're trying. Shit. Um. Oh wait, 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 wait. Can't I? Excuse. Pardon me. Oh. Uh. Oh, I fucked it up. I fucked it up. Uh, 
Uh, here. Go, go, go. Yeah. Uh. I suspect Megan might be home, which is why Arlo is whining. It's all. Oh, shit. That also means we'll need to find. Yeah. We will need to in the next. Yeah, we'll end the stream about 15 minutes or so. It's okay, Arlo. Sorry, I got. Oh. Got my puppy in the room with me. Okay, hold on. How? Ha you guys can't see the hand motions I'm doing. I keep forgetting. Um, cause oh shit, and this is this is gonna be a cold. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah, fuck. Okay. Um. How? Oh, I bet like I bet if I sprint through here. Hit the down to charge it, jump down, and then, like, as I'm falling, I have to, like, slam to the right with... Oh, god, that is complicated. I don't even know if I can do that yet, though. Uh, where... where does... I sure hope this is taking me to the right place. It's not. But it's a start, so I'll take it. But I'm sorry. Uh, numbers. I gotta be honest with you. I have so much ADHD. It hurts, and it only gets worse on Friday. So hello. It's good to have you here, man. How's it going? Yeah. That's right, Arlo. <laughs> Okay, so from here, I mean, it'll probably be pretty good. I'm glad to hear that. Um, I don't remember where. Okay, 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 okay. So, but yeah, I'm, I'm good. Uh, like, good. I'm glad to hear that. It's an honor to have you here. This game is absolutely amazing. Yeah. So, um, so for context. Oh wait, uh, let's let's talk to Adam and then I'll and then I'll tell you my spiel. Our phone off ran. As nope. explained much, we now know not the enemy are pursuing you. Way to let him die. Why were you not paying attention? He wants the Metroid DNA that exists only within you. So here's the question. He knocked me out. Why? Why didn't you take that? The quiet road has deactivated all remaining enemy. You should now be able to reach the surface unthreatened. So oh, I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine. Yep, that's my wife. Oh. Alright, I'll. Let me, <laughs> Alright, let me release. Uh, let me release our. There we go. All right, I'm back. Um, and then we'll go a little bit further and then call it good. But hi, uh, hi, darling. Thanks for telling me. We'll be done pretty soon. But uh, so, so for context numbers, uh, what I like to do is what I just call a uh, franchise series, where I play a game series and its mainline entries. <laughs> Love you too, darling. Um, where I play a game and its mainline entries, basically one right after the other. Let's open up the shortcut real quick. So our most recent one we've been doing is, you guessed it, Metroid. And yeah, I've been really, I've been really enjoying just like going through them all at breakneck. All right, well, I should say breakneck speed, but just like. 
they've just been a lot of fun. We've not really been focused on like 100% completing them or anything like that. But just, you know, having fun with it. So like we just last week beat Samus Returns and God, that game was super good. I really enjoyed it. So seeing the aspects, that thing's gonna wake up. Seeing the aspects of this game that were present in that one is just super cool. Shit. I also have a habit of, um, I love telling people this for funsies, so like, um, some of the, some of the games I have played on my own before, for the most part, they were all first time playthroughs, but my first ever Metroid game was, uh, Super, not Super Metroid, my first ever Metroid game was Other M, and I was like, this game's pretty fun, I enjoyed it. Coming back to it though, I was like, oh god, now I understand. I still like the game. I still think it's in a lot of ways good, but like mechanically, it just doesn't feel right. The story could have been good, but like it's just not done very well. But it's like it's it's close. You know what I mean? Like it was, all, it was almost. There. Yeah, I put the before I did the franchise series. I played in order. I think it was Other M. I emulated Super Metroid, and then I played Samus Returns. But like. Metroid Prime, Fusion, Zero Mission. I never got to play those. It's been a lot of fun going through all of them. Other M is some great fan service modes. Oh yeah, the uh, I mean like the the Metroid Queen that you go into its mouth and like those kinds of things. The different form of Ridley. Like I think later on, yeah, I think um, when you're done with the game and they give you the, like the time to like go through and complete everything and get Adam's helmet. The thing that comes out of space. Uh-oh, Fusion is kind of spoiled with Dread. No, I've already beat it. I've already played Fusion. Like, we, we played them in uh, release order, not in chronological order. So, like, we... I mean, you saw, we just, just learned that, like, hey, because of what you did. Like, no. It's because of what you did in Samus Returns. And... Yeah, 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 okay. This, this is actually our last game that we're playing for the Metroid franchise. And it was half the reason I, oh, I wanted to start the franchise, because I freaking love this series. Like, oh. This has been a lot of fun. And the other reason I like doing these kinds of series is because, oh. Oh, oh, okay, hold on. It helps me to become a fan of things that I wasn't previously. Like, it's like playing catch up, you know what I mean? I'll take care of that one later. Right. Yeah, they showed like right at the beginning, like the fusion suit, and I was sitting there like, oh my goodness. So cool. Uh, okay, so that's the thing he moved up. Aha! That does work! Nice! Oh, there we go. I'll be in your Discord because I'd rather not write that info down when I give it to you. I, I got you, man. It's all good. I feel bad, though, Numbers. I Unfortunately, we need to end the stream soon. Oh. I'm not used to the flash jump. Yeah, I like it. But I keep forgetting that it's a thing that I can... Oh, wait, that's a... I keep forgetting it's a thing that I can do, you know what I mean? Yeah, unfortunately though, my time... Ah, yeah, this is a perfect spot to stop. Because it'll show us the map. We know where to go next. But uh, yeah, unfortunately, we've been streaming for about five and a half hours. And we need to be calling it soon. Because Friday streams, I do a little bit earlier. Discord is down? What? We'll do some 10 second research. There we go. Yeah. Yeah, this right here is a perfect place to stop. We'll go over there, we'll nail that. Oh, it's a, that's not a teleporter, but that's fine. Yeah, because that's the teleporter. 
Yep, we'll nail that. We'll have this nice big area to explore. If I was going to make a bet, Ravenbeak is going to be like, I heard you were talking shit. And, yo, know, he'll turn all the EMIs back on. God, I love. Okay, yeah, so let's just take a moment to talk about thoughts of this game so far. You got to think about this for a second. So far, I'm absolutely loving it. Um, the only complaint I have, and I'm being very specific about this complaint, and, uh, okay, this is a good thing and a bad thing. In Samus Returns, I loved, loved, loved that each section was self-contained. That they were like, hey, there are five Metroids in this area, take them out. All the tools you'll need are somewhere in this area. All the Metroids are somewhere in this area. They didn't really, there was some elevators, but for the most part, they really didn't let you leave until you killed them. So there's no concern about like, do I need to go back? Do I need to go forward? Do I need to revisit an area? Do I need to like, what do I need to do? This game, I feel like has got a lot more of the Super Metroid route where all of the tools are much more creative and free flowing. I, I heard there's like sequence breaks and things you do. That's why I bring that up. But it's also, you have to go back and it, it's not always clear when you go back and that can get a little frustrating but i also can appreciate it because this is one big playground and it's really fun the gameplay feels great i love how they expanded the counter so it's like a melee dash and everything this game just feels awesome and my brain is starting to go into mush so i apologize but um yeah i'm really excited to get back and to play this game again just judging from the amount of spaces that we still have maybe we'll beat this in one more stream i'm not entirely sure but that being said oh and also graphically fucking love it this game is beautiful it looks so freaking good especially the background stuff that background stuff is amazing but yeah that being said we unfortunately need to end the episode off here uh next time we stream will be on tuesday we, we will be playing baldur's gate 3 with spooky uh i think yeah, next up is going into the dungeon to fight Ball, which, or, I think, yeah, we need, or Orin, or whatever the shapeshifter bitch's name is. Yeah, we need to go hunt her ass down, which I think will be very exciting, because then I think it's the finale of the game. And then we will be streaming more Metroid Dread next, I don't think anything's going on, but, yeah, next friday now switch will be on twitter and discord because i suck at social media the boss will open you to relatively quickly including uh our last baldur's gate 3 playthrough or uh episode and a mini stream where we played phasmophobia with some friends which was a lot of fun and um yeah should is anyone out there that we know to raid or i i need to be better about raiding i i, I recognize that unfortunately not for me unless anyone has anyone that they would like me to raid i will gladly take suggestions i need to drink more water i'm getting mush mouth with my spit and i apologize uh numbers do you have anyone to raid it's okay if you don't like i just want to i need to be better about raiding so that's why i'm just trying to be like fair these fairs let's like let's scout around if anyone knows anyone but if not it's all good man i aw. Well, that's okay. But, um, yeah. Let's end the episode off here. Red wrist numbers, Jail. I, Jail's been quiet, but he's probably also... I think I saw him boot up Lethal Club here. Maybe. But, um, yeah. Thank you all so much for being here. I hope y'all had fun and like, our silly, weird discussions that we have on our chill Fridays. And, uh, I hope y'all enjoyed this. Thank you all so much for, be for being here. And everyone else, thank you so much for watching. I hope y'all have fun. I know I did. And I will see you guys then. Thank y'all for coming. Bye!